At last I have control of your TV set! Are you receiving me? Tell me about the whistles. The whistles go woo! Decoration, man. It's just yeah. for decoration. That's, that's it. it. And that's all, man. We do it for decoration. And here we go. What's up, everybody? How you guys doing tonight? Who's in here? Hey, Gary. Right on time, brother. How you doing tonight? <clears throat> all right <clears throat> excuse me a little throw my throat here all right it's like my little intro there i'm a few minutes behind i tried to get everything done on time but despite my best efforts still a few minutes behind thank you thank you tim appreciate that i put that together last night still gonna play with it but a little some little fun don't mind me. I'm just going to mix up a couple paints real quick. Tim Pagan here. I see you. Uh, you definitely want to see your Golden Star Wars get painted. I'm going to put that right there. That, as we agreed, will be the first ones I paint. I'm going to do one in black and one in red. The red will be an homage, as we talked about, to uh, 3PO's red arm. I think that's going to be really, really cool. So, uh I think that's going to be really cool. So you're going to have the gold that's going to look like a 3PO gold. And then the red arm is going to be really cool. I think the black's going to look really cool too. Um, it's going to have a nice pop to it. So uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty good. What's up, Alex? How you doing? How'd you manage to delete your YouTube account, Gary? Too many ads? Got tired of seeing everything? I'm also going to bring this in. Add to stream. There we go. Hey, guys, you can see me now, too. See that? I am learning. Every stream, every stream is going to get better. Every stream will improve. I have new techniques, new features. Today I added an intro. I've got my camera on me so you guys can see the magic happening, see the confusion look, confusing looks on my face. <clears throat> All right. What else we got in here? No clue. You're going to pick up both? All right, dude. That's up to you, Tim. Totally up to you, brother. Getting paint all over the place. I don't want to touch my mouse with paint on it. So just give me a second here. I got to finish up getting my paints ready. We're not using that terrible glow in the dark tonight. I'll tell you that. All right. Let's see. I should have a guest. Who's a guest? I'm a guest. I'm my own guest. All right. So a couple more paints to get ready. We're using all the colors tonight except for glow in the dark. We're using red. We're using blue, white, green, uh, black. So everybody's going to get a turn in the pool. Tim, your yellow outline Star Wars is on the way. I think I sent that to you yesterday. I think I showed you that that is in the mail. So my mail's been terrible around here. My guy doesn't show up until like 4.30, 5 o'clock, even later sometimes. The other day, I think he came at 5.30 at night. So, yeah. I get things that are marked as shipped, and then there's no tracking information for like three days, and then it just shows up. It's weird. All right, so we've got Gary Peggy Dad. We've got Toy Chase, Tim Pagan. We've got Alex, Alexis Henriquez. Anybody else up in here? Chime in. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Come say hi. Hi, friends. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out for a minute. All right, just give me a minute here. Red is on its way. I'm getting paint everywhere again. Crimson Ducky, what is going on, my friend? 
Yes, man. We are doing it live on YouTube. You made it, brother. So I got my big printer this week. Big news, guys. I don't know if you've seen my story, my uh, my my link, my uh, posts about it. So I've got the big printer, Crimson Ducky. I'm going to make you a nice, big, fat, stinking duck. What's up, Roz Ryan? You are here. All right, red is done. I said we're using them all, right? So next up is, let's just pick out of here, yellow. Yellow is next in the line. I wanted to try to get all these ready um, before the stream, but life had other plans. Uh, life uh, finds a way, as you guys all know. Uh, yellow stick. All right. You got shipping info received for your new mirror. Nothing else since Tuesday. Yeah. What's up, Manny? Uh, I am going to make a Green Goblin mask at some point. That is my goal. If you saw my stories the other day, uh, one of the things I want to make out of my new printer is definitely a Green Goblin mask. Um, that should be very interesting. I've seen mixed mixed results on that because of the uh, size on the on the back of the head, right? You want it to, it's got to close, so I'm going to have to put magnets into it and everything. So that's going to be really interesting to learn. I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to get it right the first time. There's no way I'm going to get it right the first time. So, um, and the thing that sucks about not getting it right on the first time is that, you know, it's going to be like, like 30 hour prints. It's going to be a long time. Yeah, Crimson Ducky, I'm definitely going to get you that big fat duck. Big red duck for you, man. That's going to be cool as hell. See if I can make a cool face on it, too. Not just not just a big red duck, but if I can make a cool face. And definitely put, like, Crimson Ducky or, like, a... Oh, shit. The thing popped right out. you see that? That's not supposed to happen. Get paint all over the place now. You didn't see that because it was off camera, but the, uh, the plunger of my syringe just popped right out of the end and thusly got paint everywhere this is why i try to get this stuff done before the stream who else we got in here crimson ducky manny rose ryan so i got paint everywhere now all right Let's get cleaned up real quick so we can get on to the next color and then we can get on to the show because I'm tired of waiting. I want to get painting. Damn, that Star Wars are shiny, huh? Dude, you hook me up with a zapper lamp. We'll be best friends. Guys, if you're not already, go follow Crimson Ducky on Instagram. They make lamps out of the old Nintendo NES zapper. And yes, it's a crime to do that to a zapper. But damn, is it a beautiful piece of, of work. It really is. It's, it's really, really nice. They're really well done. I need a place to put my paints as I'm opening them. So we'll be going back to them. Black. We're not going to use a lot of black tonight. Black is used very sparingly. But we are going to use it on the Star Wars um i don't know what else what else are we going to use black on tonight i'm not sure yet but it will be used so i just gotta mix it up nice done and done appreciate that man that's gonna be awesome crimson duck you got any shows coming up buddy When's your next show, Crimson Ducky? My next show is not until March 5th at Zolocon in Warminster, Pennsylvania. I can't wait for that, man. That's going to be a great show. It better not cancel it. I'm just going to say right now they're not going to cancel it because they're not a bunch of uh, wusses in Pennsylvania. All right. 
Uh, zappers don't. I know they don't function. They only work on CRTVs. CRT TVs. That's uh, very disappointing. But hey, I would have. I would have. Uh, my friend actually has a, a tube TV just for um, older games like that. So there are people that still have them. There's a mod kit too. I saw somebody. There's some kind of mod that you can use uh, a light gun on a uh, on an OLED or an LED TV now. I don't know how it works. It's magic, but it does seem to be a fact. Okay, guys, one more color and then we're done. That's going to be the green. We're going to use green because we're going to paint up some Ninja Turtle signs that I've been sitting on for about a month now that I haven't painted. And I owe a few people. I owe a few people Ninja Turtle signs. So we're going to get those out of the way. February 27th, we're at. What's that show on February 27th? It's only, that's a little over a month away, five weeks. There we go. There's our green. And there's our green stick. Green needs to be mixed very well because there's hints of yellow in there and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, yeah, I met I met them at the outdoor show, Gary. Yep, that's right. That's where I met Crimson Duck. You see, man, you got a memory like a I don't know elephant or something. Yes, Crimson Ducky was at the outdoor show. The play with this toy shows. I don't even remember what the town was. What town was that in, Ducky? I don't. I don't remember what town that even was in. I can go back and look, but Martinsville. I want to say. I feel like it was Martinsville. Yep. All righty. I'll get some. Green. Oh, that green is very sticky. Got to be very, very gentle with the green. It's very temperamental. Quick ooze. I wish I had, I got some uh, green, some slime uh, Ghostbuster signs to paint, but I didn't cure them. I didn't have them. I don't have them ready for tonight. So bear with me one second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some signs to paint. And then we're going to get moving here. guys here we go merchantville that was it martinsville merchantville same difference there you go just did some orin amulets these are the new ones i added some loops on the back of them for some for a uh cord to go through i was gonna do a chain but chains get you know caught in your chest and the chain in, in the neck and stuff so and they, they kink up so and in the movie he there's two versions there's one using a cord and there's one using a chain so the cord i think was just going to look better it's going to look more authentic especially when it's painted up this is my test piece as you can see right there what's up briscoe what's up casey Ooh, will i do any valentine's day stuff um that's a good question. What do you have in mind? I don't know about Valentine's Day stuff. Um, I mean, I could do somebody's name maybe in a cursive or something. I don't know. Give me some ideas. Feed me some ideas, man. I'm here for it. 
All right, so these two, or at least one of them, is going to go over to my man Tim Pagan right there, uh, Toy Chase, coming right up here. So one of these is going to be black, and one of these is going to be red. I'm just going to bring this down right here. Don't mind my face. I, I got to get real close and uh, personal with this because it is very detailed. Normally on a Star Wars sign, I don't mind, but because this is gold and this is all gold and shiny and beautiful now, um, I don't want to spill. I want to be very cautious with getting the paint in the groove here. So, <laughs> yeah, man. So bear with me one second while we fill it in. Let's see what we get. I'm going to be very, very, don't mind my bald head. You know, in fact, I'm just going to, I'm just going to remove me there and just go live big here. Hearts, roses, arrows. That, those are all good ideas. If there's a demand for it, I will certainly, um, I'll certainly fulfill any, any demand for it. I don't just, I try not to make things just to make them, um, just because then I'm, 90% of the time, no one buys it if I just make it to make it. Almost all of my um, designs have been commissioned at some point or another. And then um, I just, I keep the design, I keep the, the file, and then I just make it again as needed. I just want to, again, be very, very cautious with this. Uh, Star Wars sign. I mean, I can touch it up. It's definitely not a problem. I, again, if, if I take my time here, it's just going to save me time in the long run. That's looking friggin' gorgeous, huh? Oof. That's sexy. Just clean up a little bit of a drip here. I saw a little bit right here. Cool. That's gonna. I'm gonna show you when it's all done. It's gonna look real good. Oh, I was hunting. I was like, "Oh, what'd you go hunting for?" Yeah, no, t no pressure. Don't f it up, huh? Starting dinner. Listening to stream. All right, man. What's for dinner? Chicken and stovetop. Boy, that's dating me, huh? Chicken and stovetop. What's for dinner? Chicken and stovetop. Give me a thumbs up if you guys know chicken and stovetop. And there's really no, there's no pressure in painting these. I, there's nothing I can't fix, right? So if I get paint and slot paint all over the damn thing, there's nothing I can't fix or just make again. I just want to get it right the first time. Pork chops, mac and cheese, and broccoli. That's awesome. That sounds good. We had pork chops this week um, on Tuesday. We did a pork chops with a marinade um, with soy sauce and honey. And uh, what else was in there? Soy sauce, honey, sweet chili paste. Um, it was kind of, had a kind of an oriental feel to it. They were delicious. A little rosemary on them when you put them in the we put them in the oven with a little rosemary on top. Oh, they were good. And we had we had um, no we didn't have broccoli. We had um, green beans with them. So if you take green beans and throw them on a baking tray um, and sprinkle them, spray them with a little olive oil, and then sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top of them and throw them in the oven. Oh, that's a good. Those are good. Um, those are good green beans. You gonna add this Star Wars to your wish list, dude? Do it. Um, always down to barter and trade. Always a fan of, uh, you know, working with other creators. The 
This is definitely, definitely a more time consuming one, but look at this beauty. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous. It almost looks silver because of the lighting, but I assure you it is, it is, um, it is gold. It is very gold. It is Mr. T gold. That's how gold it is. It'll definitely show up in photos a lot better. I can already see a couple spots where I'm going to have to go over it again tomorrow um, just because sometimes the stuff I use to seal these to hold the paint in um, doesn't always get into the cracks of these, the valley of these uh, Star Wars signs. So I can see a little bit here where it's, it's seeping through on the uh, W. I can tell it's already going to seep through a little bit here on the A. So what I'll do tomorrow is I'll just look at it again and I'll just refill in those spots. It's pretty common, especially with the Star Wars signs, because um, they are such a narrow channel for the paint. Ryan, were you the one that suggested using this uh, this this drawer grip uh, mat stuff? I think it was you a while back, because that was the greatest idea I think anybody ever had. As you can see, as as I get more comfortable with the um, the paint flow, this is the first one of the night, so you know I got to get my hand back for it. So sometimes it just takes me a second to get the hand for it, and then once I do, I can go a little bit faster. You get a feel for the flow of the paint, and uh, the muscle memory kicks in. Here we go. Let's just give it a little cleanup. A couple splotches here. What's nice about the gold is it repels damn near everything. So when this paint dries, this black, any spots that I smudged, I can just go over it lightly with a little X-Acto knife and it'll peel right off and leave the gold underneath. There we go. There you go. Is there here Star Wars with black? Let me see. Let's change the lighting a little bit. Let's uh, trying to get it to look uh, actually gold. That might work. Let's try this one. Let's try incandescent lighting. Yeah, you get the gist. It's super shiny. Rocco, what's going on, my dude? I'm messing with the lights now. That's the one I want. Rocco the Great has entered the chat. He gets highlight. Sup, D. Just did a gold and black Star Wars, and now we're going to do a gold and red Star Wars. Which, again, if you weren't here, is an homage to 3PO's arm. So we've got the gold Star Wars sign, and then we've got the uh, we've got the gold Star Wars sign and the red inlay. Oh, that looks so good! Oh man, this might be a new favorite right here. Everyone's gonna want this. Oh, we're stuck. Why are we stuck? This is new red paint. I shouldn't get stuck. Rocco, what are you up to tonight, brother? Smash the like button. Buy my merch. Buy my merch. 
How's your uh, your goose faba head coming, brother? I love that thing. I can't wait for it to be done. You know, maybe with my big printer, I'll make an actual goose faba helmet. Like I'll start with a Mando helmet and I'll just add like a goose faba face to it. Some uh, some uh, feathers and a beak, a mean mug and face. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. There we go. Oh, you want to guess? All right, you can come on, Rock. Hold on. Bear with me one second here. Share. Uh, no, invite. That's what I need. Invite. Haven't hooked it up yet, Casey. I hooked it up. I did that that print. And then I um, I haven't cleaned my spot for it yet. Uh, where's Instagram? Instagram. So yeah, dude, it's right now it's in my basement. It's on the other side of my office right now. Um, I have a shelf area that I'm working on cleaning it up for. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we're going to message my messages. Where's Rocco? Here you are. Paste. Send it. Coming in, brother. If you're not busy. Mikasa Esukasa. And this is and the invitation's open to all you guys, right? So you want to you want to jump in for a little bit and chill, talk about what you're doing, uh, any shows you you got going on, any uh, YouTube stuff. So Tim, I know you've got your thing. You can definitely you know hop on if you want and uh, you know promote chat. We can talk movies. We can talk games. We can talk signs. We can talk comics. We can talk toys. Whatever you guys want. There he is. I see you. Coming in with the new haircut. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's going on, brother? I told you on Monday that uh, I jump in here and I, I keep my word. So No, dude, I know. Hey, you're you're you've got a life too, brother. You can't be streaming five days a week. Yes, I can. I used to you, actually you got Mondays and Fridays, and you jumped on with uh, Joe on Tuesday. I in the summer, uh when I first started, uh I bought the, I got the wrong headphones, but it's all right. Um, I was actually live streaming like every single day for a little yeah. while, <laughs> you know, when the coup first started happening. Yeah. What else are we doing? Right. That's true. Got nothing else to do. Might as well just go online, man. Mm. Everyone's stuck at home. You can just hang out online and chill with people. It's cool. Yeah. The gold nice, and the man. red is like, that's like, so you're, uh, you're in, you're, what are you you're in the living room today? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're watching clue. Hun, Hun's next to me. She's on Instagram, and uh, we're watching. You watching Clue. the old Clue with Tim Curry? My fa one of my favorite. I love movies. that movie. I actually was I watched it uh, a couple days ago, no, a couple weeks ago. It's so good. It's just it's like it's so quirky and fun and silly and just fun. It's it's and just see, a great. That's that's one thing I like about you, dude. Is you know, you're you know. You've got, I've got 10 years on you, so I consider you the younger generation, right? You're no, a younger, definitely. A I younger like Pokemon, uh, generation. so I understand. Definitely. And a lot of people your age don't aren't into stuff like that, aren't into classic movies and stuff like that, you know? They're not into, uh, you know, uh, the, the fantasy movies or Clue or anything like mm. that. So when I when I see somebody in the younger generation, like, getting into those show, those movies, it's like, it's like heartwarming a little bit. I'm like, mm. man, yeah, all right, I, something I can talk to somebody about, you know? Yeah, I, I don't like. Yeah, I'm 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 all for old stuff. I don't really like anything new. I mean, I'm sure you you listen to Toy Talk Live, so you 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 know that already, right? So there's gold and red. That's cool. So That's we're doing sick. 
uh, my dude here, Toy Chase, his name's Tim Pagan. He just picked up a uh, black and gold, black and yellow Star Wars. And then he was mm. talking to me. He's like, hey, can you do a gold one? And I was like, yeah, but what do you want the outline to be? And we talked about it. And we're like, well, let's do one black and we'll try one red. Oof, you know, because 3PO's yeah. arm is red, you know, the replacement arm. Mm. So I said, that, that'd be cool because this is gold, like 3PO, and then the red mm. would be a nice homage. Mm. Gold. Let's think of other gold and what other gold and even gold and purple would look pretty cool. Like a like a neon cool. purple. That's a golden black. Yeah, that's sick. So they came out really nice. So actually, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get the control. I'll get the control version, so you guys can see hmm. what the normal one looks like. Sick. Toy Chase is very lucky. Let me just get all this stuff out of the way. What'd you guys think of Boba Fett? That I heard that third episode is so. It's 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 people. Is that are, the one with the uh, Tuscan Raiders dancing? No, no. The third episode has the Spy Kids in it on the speed on the these little mopeds. Oh, that looks oh, okay. good too. So this is this is the original one, right? Mm, and then classic. somebody won a contest or something, and they're like, "Hey, can you, and they wanted stars, but they said, can you do it in yellow?" So mm. I did in yellow, and that became really really popular. So I was like, "Okay, I'm going to keep Ooh. doing it in yellow." Yeah, Casey Martinez says all the lightsaber colors. It, yeah, and people could buy them and put them in front of the lightsabers. Oh, that's cool. Whoo, yeah. money. So yeah, so now I've got now I just did a red, now I'm doing gold, so something mm. a little different. Compliments of uh Toy Chase of the Chef. I haven't seen it yet either, Casey. I have not watched a single episode of uh Boba Fett yet because good, don't. A, yeah, that's what I'm saying. A, I heard it's not that good. And B, I kind of like waiting for it all to finish before I, you know, yeah. I, I like to binge watch it, you know. The Briscoe says yeah, Boba Fett and the Rainbow Racers. Yeah, dude, it's hard. They're they're making this. It's you know his his ship is called the Fire Starter or something. They changed it. And the Rainbow Racers. Dude, you don't even know what they're doing to this poor guy. That's awesome. Yeah, so Hunt on Instagram. Out. You're watching Clue. Yeah, that's it, huh? Just that's a, that's a typical night. Yeah, Rocco residence. Yeah, I was gonna go live before, but uh, and just like a random live talk about all these new toys coming out. But I'm going live tomorrow, so I might as well just. That's your Friday it. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you're live now, so there you go. There you go. Yeah, I always planned when you said on Monday. You know, I keep track of everything, so I always planned on jumping in here because I know you go. I appreciate long that, time, brother. So. Listen, I, I take this stuff serious, man. I love it. It's fun. Every stream getting a little bit better. I, I made an, I got an intro uh, clip that I made last night now. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, I, I saw it in the chat it said the intro. I'll get I'll take it I'll take a look later. Yeah, just something different, you know, a little little something to, to pop off the show. Hmm. And then I have my other intros that I had made uh, this week, those um I don't know if you saw them on my Instagram, those uh, animated intros with my mm -hmm. logo. Yeah, you've been trying out some different stuff. Yeah. With like the paint drips and everything. I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see everything. <laughs> I see everything. All knowing and all seeing. Yeah. The, the, the goose sees all. I see everything for people who, uh, you know, are chill. If, if I don't like somebody or somebody doesn't like me, I don't care or know anything about it. Yeah. But, you know, if you invest in me, then uh, I invest back. Yeah. Yeah, the Manny truth. says, I thought that picture was edited. LOL, the show really did that. Yeah, me too. When I first, on Twitter this morning, it was it was on fire with the Boba Fett spoilers and stuff. And people were roasting it. I said, that can't be real. I said, that's a joke. And then, no, I looked it up. And they're, dude, it's really, they're Disneyfying it like so bad. Are they? Yeah, like Tatooine is like Disney World. It's not like, you know, if you like the original Star Wars, I'm a, I I assume that you do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you know we you know Tatooine was a rough place. Yeah, at least they told us that. But you no, don't screw, is, you don't screw around on Tatooine. No, not anymore, man. It's just it's not it's it's Star Wars. It's Disney. It's Marvel. It's basically yeah. they turned Boba Fett into a Marvel character. <laughs> He's a Disney princess now. He is. He is. That's no, funny. thank you. That's very disappointing too because. The Mandalorian was actually quite good. Like, 
I see people I see people crap on the Mandalorian. They're like, oh, it's just like a video game. He's like, oh, all right, yeah. I need this thing. You have to go on a quest to get this thing from me. I go on the quest. There's always something problem with the quest. I finish the quest. I get the thing next episode. Well, that's fun, right? Like, I like that. But Right, me they too. Threw, they threw Boba Fett. Sasha Banks, she's like five foot nothing, four foot something. Mm-hmm. And she threw Boba Fett through the table. That's where they lost. That me. was the first episode, right? No, that was the last episode of the oh, last. Oh, was it? I, I remember that when was... we were, you were talking to, like on the first episode, you're like, oh, does he get his ass kicked in the first episode? And somebody oh, no, said no. yes. Well, the Mandalorian, I'm saying. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, the Mandalorian. You remember the Luke episode? Yes, yes. Right before that, Boba Fett gets thrown to it through a table in some bar by a little girl. And yeah. They, I just checked out because I already was on. I was already on borrowed time from the last Jedi, like, you know, really not giving Disney any attention. But then right. uh, we, uh, someone wants to come in here. Crimson Ducky. Yeah. Crimson Ducky. I'm going to get him in next time. I you got you, buddy. Him the link. What? I, I mean, I don't, I don't mind if you're, if you're not sending him in. I don't know how, to, I mean, can I fit three people in here? You could fit up to, well, I don't know how the free one is, but I could fit up to like eight people. No, this isn't free. I paid for it. Brother. Oh, you pay, yeah, you paid for this one. Yeah, I think you could get right, up to eight here. people. Uh, Crimson Ducky, check your Instagram. Hold on one second. Let's get it. Dude, Crimson Ducky, he's, um, he's a creator as well, right? So he does these crazy things with like Nintendo zappers and stuff like that. I'm gonna Google. Is he on Instagram? He's on Instagram, Crimson Ducky. I don't I'm know how often he updates, but uh, definitely, definitely check him Crim- out. Let me see. It's funny because I'm uh, I'm gonna be doing something uh, with uh, a video game thing with Goosefaba, so that's fun. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's I, I'm planning out like the whole year, so we're far away from that. Give that a try, Crimson Ducky. Hundred dollars. They only did that because she's a wrestler. Oh yeah, definitely. That's why they did it because she's a wrestler. Nope. Yeah, but she's not even a she's not even a recur. Like she'll never come back. It said it was just a one time. Like she yeah, was it's in a it one time like, thing. Yeah, so she just throws Boba Fett through a table, like a and, oh, dude. Don't even get me started. It's probably part of the like. She's like, I'll only come on the show if I can do <laughs> if I can like do a wrestling move. Put it's someone like else anything. through like, a table. You ever see Boba the rundown Fett. with the Rock? Uh no and I saw Sean I, I saw the Scott, one Scott and they're in there with uh there's uh Diamond Mind or something in in Brazil yeah. and uh Christopher Walken runs it and he's got to hunt down he's got to hunt down Sean William Scott the Rock anyway in the very beginning of the movie um he does a rock bottom no but that's okay I saw the Rock the only Rock movie I saw was the one standing tall or something i think where he has the, oh yeah like, yeah yeah he has that stick of wood and he breaks the guy's life yeah that was a remake that... from the 70s oh yeah okay. walking tall oh walking yeah something like that <laughs> but, uh, no no but i don't care that she did a wrestling move but you don't put boba fett through a table for no reason right that's that's my <laughs> no reason um thank you tim yeah, th- that's classy, dude. Your signs are great. I have your goose. I have the goose faba uh, thing you made me as a magnet on my fridge. On the fridge, I saw, dude. He's I look at ju- it every the, day. What now. I said, the goose is guarding the juice. Yeah, the goose is guarding the juice. <laughs> dude, I love it, dude. I love your stuff. Very great. I appreciate that, man. I was uh, did a little toy hunt this afternoon. Did you? A little bit. I don't go live for it. I just i I had to go do some shopping and. Target was across the street, so I was like, mm. you know, what? I might as well stop since since I'm here. You always got to stop. You right? got to stop because the day that you don't stop is when you, when they have the shit that you want that yes. you never find. Yes, right. So I said, let me go try because Clint's been looking for pizza monsters, the mm. neck of pizza monsters. So I said, let me let me just stop in see maybe they've got them, whatever. And I've been looking for the Halloween um, Halloween Kills Michael Myers. He is too. Uh. Did you watch that movie? Yeah. You know, you like- I, besides besides The Evil Dies Tonight, yeah, <laughs> I didn't mind it. Me and Clint they, saw it in the movies together. Um, they should have cut that whole middle of the movie out. Yeah, that like, whole that whole chasing the poor guy through the whole hospital yeah, thing. Come I, on, dude. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. Um, but overall, I didn't mind it. The thing that takes me out of the movies, right, is Michael Myers is a mortal. He's not a Jason or freddie yes like if you yes. shoot him he should get hurt 
He shouldn't keep walking. If you stab him, he they should broke stop. everything. He walking. This guy got the shit beat out of him, shot like six times, and everything else, and then he still is, he's fine. It's, I mean, I get it. it. Was, this one crazy. was yeah. This but one that they doesn't went, stop your body from bleeding, dude. They went so over the so, and that's the that was my problem. Like, go all the way over the top, which is fine, right? Like, make it just fun. You come here, it's a it's over the top. But yeah. they tried to ground it with that middle, that like middle scene with the, all the hospital, and it's like, no, are, are you? Is he running through everywhere and just violently murdering people, or is he? Is this like a a serious movie where I need to learn a lesson? And they, it was all over the place. They need they could have cut some stuff out. And also, yeah, like this movie was Jason. It was not Michael yes. Myers. He was definitely more Jason yeah. than Michael Myers. But for, out of nowhere, though, that's the thing. It wasn't like. Jason turned into the zombie because he became a zombie. Yeah. At least have him, have him get struck by lightning or something. You know what I mean? Like have it, make a reason. Like didn't it fall into a vat of radioactive waste? Yeah. I something. think that would be, that's what movies are missing. Like that weird speaking of clue, like it, like it's where movies are grounded in reality, but they're also just like certain areas are exaggerated and silly and, and it works though. And, yeah. and that movie it tried being a serious movie and also being a ridiculous movie, and it wound up just wasting my my uh, two hours. That's great. We got Crimson Ducky in. Here he comes. Oh. Hey, how's it going, guys? There he is. Hey. What's going on, Crimson Ducky? How you doing? Pretty good. How many? How many sound of this thing? All right. Yeah, you, you sound, sound good, brother. He's yeah. good. All right. Crimson, meet Rocco. Rocco, meet Crimson. What's hey, up, Rocco. Dude? How you doing? Rocco Pretty good. Is. A, uh, is, uh, a man of many talents. He's based out of here in Jersey as well, so he's yeah, a Jersey yeah. boy. Yeah, I'm 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 towards the southern end, closer to to Philadelphia than uh, New York. Yeah. Mm. So I met Crimson Ducky doing a Merchantville toy show, the free toy show, the Play with This Toys Merchantville toy show back in the summer, and okay. uh, he does. Oh, some is that awesome the one? Do you was... have any of your stuff there, Crimson? That you can show. Oh us? yeah. Oh. <laughs> Do I have any of my stuff? Um, Come on, I'm going to make you big. I'm going to pause my my thing here. Okay. There we go. Show us some cool stuff. Uh, Look at this stuff. He's got, he put the shirt on and everything for the stream. Look at this. I was, I was yeah. actually I was actually already wearing it today because <laughs> I I have like six of them and I'm like I love this shirt so I'm gonna wear. I it. have I have two D Blake make shirts and I wear them for shows. I won't wear them when I'm painting because <laughs> I just I just get paint all over myself. Yeah, I was painting canvases before. That's why I have a freaking power. Usually, I'm always branded up. So yeah. So this was uh this is a test sheet. Mm. Um, I was testing out different colors. So it's got a whole bunch of images on it, but it's a uh, dye sublimated aluminum. Oh wow. damn. Um, and this is art by our good friend Jude Martis. Oh, I know Jude Martis. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, me and him we work together, so I'm allowed to make a bunch of metal art of his i supply him with art that he sells and i pay him a chunk out of anything that i sell that's awesome um yeah we have a... man that's what that's where it's oh, at yeah. right oh yeah and you know what we've we've done a lot of work together we actually had him down for the south jersey geek fest fair hmm. in uh october remember i invited you to that one but you weren't able to make it down yeah um and we set him up, and we had him signing metal prints and selling his own prints at our table. That's awesome. Did he do well? Did he do well there? Um, he did okay. He got a few commissions. Oh, Us, nice. we literally had our best uh, con ever. And it was only a dozen of us in a parking lot. Wow. And we were so well prepared this time. Like, I think we had 15 or 20 art prints on the metal. And then eight or nine, we do the same thing, but on wood. And okay. they're, they're a lot more involved. They take a I've couple of days wood to make. I've, yeah. seen, I've seen the wood prints at the show, and they're beautiful. Yeah, and I mean, they're fantastic. They're just, they're, they're hard to make, and they're expensive. So, so. What's the process with that? Is that a laser cutter or? Uh, for the wood prints? For, for any of that, for that metal okay. stuff. Uh, so this, here's, here's a smaller one. This. We call this guy King Dragon. Yeah, I want to give. I want you to give away the the keys of the kingdom. I'm just curious. Like, <laughs> oh no, tr trust me. The trial and error involved. Yeah, I don't think anybody could replicate my process without yeah. spending a thousand dollars and two years of their life. That's that's my uh, signs. I give people <laughs> enough information on how to make my signs to hang themselves. 
because <laughs> everyone's like, how do you do it? What paints do you use? Da, 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 mm. da. And I, I'll tell them here that you can buy the paints at Lowe's like here, they're enamel paints. I'll show them. Right. So mm -hmm. then they think they can just go off and make a sign and then paint it with these enamel paints. <laughs> and then they come Wrong. back to me like the paint won't stay on it. Da, da, da. I was like, I'm not going to tell you everything, dude. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got know? business to maintain. Well, yeah. these, the metal ones, there's no secret. They're basic dye sublimation. You go out, you get yourself a printer, you put in sublimation ink, you print it on sublimation paper. Oh. You slap one of these bad boys under, let me see if I can turn this. You know what? Because at, at, under a at heat um, press. New York Comic Con this year, the biggest thing, I must have seen 15, at least 15 booths with these metal holographic metal prints now. Yeah. And that's like the biggest thing ever. Dude, I, the, I they are dumb, easy everywhere. to do. They're not actually holographic. You just print it on the silver side. Yeah. You got to treat it with a polyester mm. resin and boom, that's all there is to it. There's like, oh, yeah, I, mean, I know that. I mean, there's, there were so many people doing it. I said, this can't be proprietary knowledge. <laughs> you, know, like, out. <laughs> you got um, any zapper lamps there? Uh, I don't. You I have the it? guts. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Hold on. Uh -oh. Give me guts? a second. I'm going to dig out the prototype. Oh, because okay. it is garbage. He also has the NES Advantage. Remember that? I don't know if you know that control. It was a big square controller with a joystick and two giant red buttons, right? Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He, make, he makes that into a lamp, too. Oh, nice. It's really cool. He's a really, really cool different leather work, too, I think. Like, he does, like, D&D &D stuff, like uh, Dungeon Dragon stuff. Yeah, we, we do dice trays. Yeah, dice trays. Mm. Oh, come on. I got to get to it. Uh, there it is. Oh, Rocco, what are you doing? What did you do with Goose today? Um, I did like three canvases, some more, some, uh, parts from the, uh, the figure is coming in. So things are coming together. I'm very That's excited. That's awesome, dude. Oh God, this thing is horrible. So your cat, the camo pants and stuff for, for the goose, that's all, everything's outsourced, huh? Um, I have people who I'm, tr I was trying to do everything from people who make stuff in the USA, but yeah, it would be like, I would have to charge hot toys prices. It's really oh, yeah, crazy. You would, exactly. So I'm trying my hardest. I have a guy making the shirts here in America. Okay. And, uh, and I try not to, you know, when I'm dealing with other artists, you know, people that create stuff, I don't like to, you know, barter. I like, you know, because I'm an artist. I like to support other artists and yeah. stuff. What would sure. you say? Haggle. Bar yeah, I can appreciate Barters that. Barters when we trade. Okay. Hun, Hun is smart, so she was teaching me. <laughs> but <laughs> Word a day calendar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So so here's the oh, that. the prototype, yeah. and you can see like we have this janky mm. connection. It's all it, it's all like cockeyed. We used we used the golf cartridge. That's cool though. I like I um, love that. I love that you're actually using like a. I mean, again, I hate the fact that you're using game <laughs> cartridges and stuff, but at the same time, you're giving it new life. So I also I also, I really I also cool, will especially only... from a nostalgic <clears throat> perspective. Well, I've got two routes that I usually go. I go either non-functioning mm. or reproductions. Yeah. So I don't destroy any functioning stuff except for zappers because yeah. there's no way to test them anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't, you can't use them on a on a new TV anyway. Yeah. So oh, really? like, yeah, yeah. The, those yeah, light guns, the zappers, and all those guns, they only work on uh, tube TVs. CRT Is that why TVs. they're so cheap? I always see those yep. at the flea market. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, they don't, they won't function because the way that an old um, vacuum tube TV, the timing went on it is mm. actually more consistent than in a modern LCD. Wow. And so if you ever notice when you pull the trigger, the screen flashes black. Well, there's a, one white square wherever the target is. Huh. And that's how it knows because it's hitting that white square. Interesting. But because the timing's different on a modern screen, it won't match up. So you never get mm. never get a click. Oh, I never even knew that. Yeah, the tube TV and the and the OLEDs and LEDs they just mm. don't match up anymore. But yeah, no, I know I've heard, I, for I know yeah. people that keep old CRTVs like big thirty six inch. This hmm. thing's like the size of like a, a tank, you know, just to play those games, you know. Yeah, I have a few old TVs in the house, uh, and sometimes you have to because like I remember when like when the Wii came out, right? I hacked my Wii, yeah, and I ran emulators on it. And trying okay, to play, yeah. you know, Metroid on a 
at that time, what, 56 inch TV, 46 inch TV, everything was just so pixelated. Castlevania looked terrible, <laughs> you know? But nowadays they have like, you can change aspect ratios and stuff. So that's cool. Mm. Um, real quick, there's right, a question. Do, do I have a store? Uh, we have a website that uh, is preparing to launch. Um, we currently sell stuff in two locations, the Nerd Mall in Woodbury and Rancocas Wood Craft Co-op in Mount Laurel, Rancocas Woods. So you can check us out there. Okay. Um, as far as uh, zappers go, I have heard of someone who supposedly has redesigned one that now can function on a, an LED TV, I guess via USB. Yeah, so that's what that, I was saying. I've seen people that there's some kind of mod or something that you can hook up to make it work on a regular TV. Well, the this this is, from my understanding, a fully redesigned unit, but it'll allow people to use uh, zappers on things like ROMs and stuff. Oh, okay. So that way, you know, we never completely lose that because currently there's, even for like a modern game, there's no light ga gun technology. It's all yeah. has to be done by sensors put on the TV. Yeah, so and, and, and they're not very accurate. Yeah, like the uh, Wii, right? The Wii yeah. had that sensor bar across the top of it, mm -hmm. so you could still use that, like with the emulators and light guns, because it could still pick that up on the TV. Yeah, but there, it's a different kind of technology, and it's much less accurate than the old light guns were. So, I mean, mm -hmm. like I, I have, I still have it for my Wii. I have, um, uh, what is it? Uh, one of the zombie ones that's an arcade one, and it. Uh, it was one that uh, was super popular. House of the Dead, I think. Uh -huh. And it just, it tracked like garbage. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. I love your work. Uh, do you, what else you got there? You got any of your leather work or any of that stuff? that you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Come on, show it off. <laughs> Get on here. I got you on here for a reason, brother. I want you to show off all your good shit. Let me see. I think I got, do I have a dice tray? Rocco, where's Goose? I want him on your shoulder. I know he's in the other room. I'm real careful with him right now until I got other ones coming in the mail right now. Okay. You're building an army. Yeah. I'm <laughs> I'm doing ever I'm doing a lot of stuff right now, like silently, because I, I don't want to start pushing it until things are more ready. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's how but I I'm mean when I started with these signs, dude, mm. I was I was way under the radar. Like I was just, you know, here and there in the Facebook groups. Mm. And then yeah, I, I gotta get back on start an Instagram. To I gotta and start trolling just blew up on. from there. Oh, All right, here's stinks. here's uh, one of my early attempts of doing a resin and on metal, and this is like that holographic you were talking about, right? Okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, now I mean, that this was. Samurai? Uh, no, this is I actually a design we have for one of our coasters. It's a uh, Sea Space Cowboy from Cowboy Bebop. Oh, okay. And we actually do that on our coasters because we do um, – usually we do either wood, which take a lot, or uh, recently we've been doing um, ceramic coasters with whatever we want to put on them. We got ceramic that. coasters meaning just like a tile? Uh, with These ones are circular. Okay. But like That's I saw, cool. I did some of these up for Christmas. Mm. Nice. Four, I think they're three and a half inch um, nice. coasters. The wood how's, ones, how's they your, take uh, forever. How's your Instagram looking? Let's take a look. Oh, I'm terrible at Instagram. You know that. <laughs> I know. Well, you got to, man. So, guys, <laughs> if you go to Crimson Ducky's Instagram, let me see if I can show this. Share screen window. I'm getting better at this, Rocco. You, you get there. You, get, you saw Joe's show on Tuesday? Yeah. He was like a pro. I was so, like, I couldn't believe it. So you can hardly see it, but there's a zapper, mm. and there's the NES Advantage controller light. It's pretty cool. Mm. There's yeah, that's a, nice, that's a nice picture, too. So their prints. Oh, yeah, that's, a, that's us at the craft co-op. Mm. Yep. More prints. Very artsy. I love it. Those yeah. lamps are so good. I have, to find a, I have to find a home for it. Good you know, uh, what what style do you want? Do you want a uh, advantage? Do you want a controller, or do you want a cartridge? Ooh, oh, <laughs> we yeah. have options. You mean as a base, right? I definitely, yeah. you know. Oh man, too many choices. Don't ask me now. We'll come back <laughs> to it. 
All right. Um, I will advise against a cartridge. They have a little bit of a torquing issue. Yeah. Um, from trying to clamp it down because you got to do it on an angle. Mm -hmm. Um, they work. It's just they're not as stable as as they could be. Gotcha, dude. That's great stuff, man. I love your work. Like I said, super so, duper. Here we got. I don't know if it'll show up. Uh, unique stuff. What do you got? Glass etching. Back. Oh yeah, so, I saw that at the show too. The the glass Zelda mug we did. We also we've done uh, Rocco. You think mm. what I'm thinking? What goose glasses? Goose glasses. Yeah, I, I'm trying not to put too much stuff out right away. Dude, Spaceballs the musical. Spaceballs no. <laughs> the flamethrower. Goose Faba the drinking glass. Goose Faba the backpack. Hey, we Bro, can do it. Everything do Goose it. Faba. Uh, You're the you goose, dude. Did you see the on? I think it was on my Insta. Did you see the truck window I did with glass etching? Yes, you showed it to me personally. Well, I finished. It was I Halloween, the, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I finished the stencil for the complicated window. Okay. Look at that. So this is this is a, Ash. Yeah, Army of Darkness. So I dead. had to hand weed all of this. It took six hours. I remember you telling me it was a pain in the ass because you had to weed all that, all those little pieces and stuff. Yeah, we actually had to buy a new vinyl cutter because the old one couldn't do it. Mm. Wow! So, Just couldn't I mean, get that detail in, huh? Well, it tried, but I, I like, I murdered the machine in about three months. I got a, it was a uh, Silhouette Cameo Four Pro. Okay, yeah. And you know, it's like you know, consumer grade. You know, it was supposed to be the higher end, out of the box. And yeah. I murdered it in three months. Have they you sent... considered getting a laser cutter? Um, I have. Um, we actually, we had one that we we bought and we returned it immediately. Really? Uh, it was a fox alien. Okay. Um, it was it, it was an open box and it ended up showing up broken. So we were like, oh, I'm not. Okay. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not messing with that. Um, so you know, a laser cutter is on the horizon. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, this one, it was cheap enough for us to take a risk on it and we ended up returning it. Um, yeah, I haven't decided if we're going to tr try and go full CO2 or if we're going to stick with something cheaper, like a diode. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, can you get I've the performance out of a good well. diode? You can get a pretty good CO2 for under $500. Oh, nice. Um, there's different models out there. They're, they're all Chinese. So, you know, so they all come from overseas. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, right. Um, but they do have some decent ones I've seen out there with the CO2 and then you buy an upgraded mm -hmm. diode or an upgraded, um, CO2, uh, Tube. Com yeah. com you know, compression chamber, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it can cut acrylic up to like half an inch thick. Whew. Yeah. I think I, I was, I was doing a little research. I think, Half an inch could be done with something like an 80 watt uh, CO2. Um, yeah. And I don't, can like, can a diode even get up to a half an inch? Would I, I guess I, I would have so. to be I like a. I think diodes are limited to like an eighth inch. Okay. Cause I, I, I feel like you'd need like, I've seen some that are like 20 watt double diode where, where they angle in in some ridiculous fashion. And yeah. But I mean, I, I like the idea of the diode because it's a much smaller uh, kind of setup. Yeah, you have a lot. Yeah, exactly. If you're pressed for room. Um, but I'm not opposed to going CO2 if I can get one that legitly does what does we want it job. to do. Yeah. Um, one thing we were looking at, we're, we're saving up currently. Ooh, that looks good. Me likey. That's, that's um, Rocco. I have to replace the one I gave Rocco. Yeah, that's it, nice, dude. It'd be neat if you did that and could get the umbrella logo behind the words. Oh, I like that idea. Mm, that's like, like that. a that's like a special box set right there. Yeah, right? yeah. It's the umbrella logo on the back, kind of like uh -huh. how I do. So when I did Mortal Kombat, and that's I'm going to paint that next. Dun, 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 dun. Right? So yeah, I there you Mortal go. Mortal Kombat, and then okay, I already yeah. had the dragon logo that I made, huh. and I put the dragon logo behind it. Uh -huh. I like the idea of doing that with Resident Evil. That's going to be the next version. Good idea, bro. There you go. <laughs> I'm an ideas guy. What could I say? That's it. That's <laughs> um, why you know. That's why I love chatting with everybody. Everyone has different ideas. Like you know, Toy Chase tonight. He said, "Let's do it. Let's do Gold Star Wars." You know, uh, I'm always yeah. about making variants, making Good different goal. things. I'm adding know, that to my list. Myself. That one is hardcore on my list. 
I saw it but before you even painted it. I was like, oh, I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Martinez said um, on my on my uh, my short that I posted, he said some of these look so good they don't even need to be painted. Mm. It's true. But the paint just really takes them to the next level. It it does. I mean, there's so, something about fit and finish. Yep. And you know, I, I tell everybody all the time, like these, I'm not doing like there are other guys out there that do this that that make display signs for figures and act, you know, collections and stuff like that. So you know, I'm not, I'm not the only guy doing this. But I, as far as I know, I am the only guy painting these. Other guys do these and they print them, and um, they just print them in different layers of color, color filament. So like they'll okay. do this, they'll do like a whole red back, they'll do it in red up to like a certain height. Then they stop and they put black filament in, and then they do the black over the red, so you see the red through the black, right? But then you then you can see the print lines, like you can mm. see it, it's it's not as yeah, bright stuff, and vibrant. Your stuff, you don't see any print lines. It's very clean. It's very. Uh, they just look like these little. These they look little like giant things. enamel pins. Yeah. That's yeah. that's that's I said the goal, that man. You, yeah. That's that's my technique, right? Is mm -hmm. basically when mm -hmm. I set out to make these, I said. I want them to look like big enamel pins. Like, how did they mm. make enamel pins? And I looked it up, and I'm like, okay, recess. You should put some pin backs on them. Wash and repeat. Yeah, people. <laughs> I want really a giant one that I can wear on my yeah. shirt. Yeah, <laughs> just right there. Hi, my name is. Yeah. Was that rock? Yeah, really big pin patches. Yeah, <laughs> they're fun, man. So that's you know that that was the goal. Is you know I want them to be something different. I want them to have some pop, and you know, again, the enamel. I have, you know, I have a good collection of enamel pins and I'm just like, you know, I want my signs to look like these pins mm. and yeah, they do. I'm not, I'm not a pin collector. Every, a lot of people collect pins. I'm not a pin collector. Walking, I used to subscribe to Loot like Crate. This. <laughs> Loot Crate made me a pin collector. Mm. Yeah. Loot Crate always had pins. Yeah. Just huge pins like that. Boom. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Just a giant crimson ducky pin. Oh. Uses it uses like a, a railroad spike as a nail as, as a pin <laughs> in the back, right? I'm gonna be hard pressed not to stick this giant ducky make on the roof of my trailblazer, which we call the ducky mobile. Huh. Yeah, you yeah, can we... do that. I, I tell people I don't recommend putting these on a car mm. um, because they are thermoplastic. Mm -hmm. I could do them in ABS, which would make them more resilient to heat and sunlight. Um, but then I have to get a more ventilated area because abs mm. does give off toxic fumes yep. I, I could um, i could get a big magnet for it and do it like the old school cop lights just bam on the roof <laughs> yeah. when i'm driving there just slop and slap it up top <laughs> like the old siren just, yep yep that's awesome <laughs> yeah well we call it the ducky mobile because we actually i bought it the day after our second show mm -hmm. that we we killed it at our second show ever our first show, we bombed it, and it was horrible. Shows but, are like that, man. Well, mm. we went we went to one that was like a straight up comic book show. Yeah, and we were doing art and stuff. So yeah, you know, we made enough to cover our table and get our next table. Yeah, but that next table, we killed it, and like we did what we did in the first show in thirty four minutes. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing. Like you could do the same. You could even do the same show, like the next month, mm -hmm. and absolutely destroy it. And he's just like, well, what did I do different the first? You didn't do anything different. It's a different crowd or. Yeah, just, shows are weird. Yeah, crowd, yeah, shows are weird. That's why I don't do, like, I probably won't do Merchantville again. Merchantville was a great show if mm. you were a buyer, mm. right? People were leaving with entire collections. Like, yeah. Was that guy, the one that was in the, it was in the street and yeah. stuff? Yeah. I followed someone who was walking around that and they were taking video. And it's so weird that you mentioned that. It was like a little while ago, right? Oh, yeah, because I was doing – I did the same thing. I took video of it and everything. Mm. And then there's a there's a guy called Jersey Geek. He, he vended there. He was also um, – mm. he was also, uh, you know, doing some live stream or whatever from there too. But that was a cool show. But, like, people were selling real cheap. I mean, mm. I got I got some figures that are $100 figures I got for like 30 bucks. Mm. I almost put myself in the hole that day because I was buying <laughs> stuff from other people. Mm. Um, yeah, that's what happens. Stuff, you know, yeah, I, I used to, so like 10 years ago, I used to do comic cons a bunch to sell art. Yeah. And uh, 
and yeah, it's like, it, like you were saying, the shows, it, it depends on the show. And then you wind up buying stuff that like, you're like, I'm here to, I'm here to sell stuff and I'm yeah. buying things. And yeah, well, it's, it, it's definitely <laughs> uh, an experience. That, that almost happened at that show because I saw Damien stuff and I was like, oh, I, I want, mm. oh, no, I left my wallet back at our table for a reason. <laughs> I almost came back and bought like four signs and yeah. then commissioned the Crimson Ducky sign because don't worry, we're, we're going to get it. I just got to mm. make sure that we have it in the, in the war chest. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. But no, like, and you know, that, that means a lot to me too, right? When I have other creators requesting my stuff. I like that because like the work that you do, there's, you can absolutely make your own sign. Absolutely. hundred yeah. percent make your own sign in enamel or, 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 uh, you know, any, any way that you want to do it, you can, you can make that sign because you have the tools and knowledge to do that. Right. Well, I've already you, made some signs, not, not, not via your type of method. No, not my I, method, right. Not my, via method. my methods, but your methods, you can make, you can make awesome signs. Right. Mm. And you can do just about anything you want in your method. Um, so the fact that you like my method enough that you want something of my style for for yourself, like that means a lot to me, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, no. I mean, I it's, appreciate that. It, again, it, it's, it's actually it's at that point just or somewhere. I feel like after imitation is the greatest form of flattery because I could imitate your method. Yeah. But you know what? I'd rather have you make it because you're the one who is doing it. Yeah. Well, yeah, isn't like art is really it's like the person a lot. Of, you know what I mean? Like because yeah. anyone could do anything like you could print out you could print out any artist's thing you like, go to Walgreens and get a canvas. But like, you know, most of the time it's about supporting the people like I'm yeah. getting a rug made uh, by some guy. I found on oh, Instagram. Those rug, those rug people? Yeah. The, oh, my God. A goose rug There's made? a whole. Yeah. I'm getting a goose rug. There's a whole. It. Dude, I didn't even know. There's a whole like new wave of these custom rug makers. Yes, dude, are, I like, looked into it. Amazing. I looked it's into crazy. it because it looks so fun to make. Yeah, Is that everything I've seen on Facebook. In? Yeah, they, oh, they yeah. take I'm a sure big a Facebook, big canvas yeah. and then they yes. project the picture up and yes. they draw it and then they take then this they have gun, gun with this yarn. And yeah. It's just, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like it's like again everything. Everyone could do anything, right? You could learn how to do it, but. It's like, do I want to go? My thing is all about time right now. So I was like, you know what? You're supp I like supporting people, you know, like on, on Instagram, like people make those little 3D, you know, uh, diorama pieces. Yes. I'm always trying to support those people with diorama. Random stuff. diorama. His stuff is crazy. I got to get something from him. Yeah. I, 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 I'm waiting for people to make some spray cans. I, yeah. want, I want some little mini spray cans. I was looking into that, dude. I'm I'm definitely want to do something like um, either for for goose or for any kind of like one twelve figure of just the hand holding a spray paint can. Well, that's it. The hand holding the spray can. Exactly. I'm. To I know because you guy, can get a spray can, but that guy's just gonna hold it. Exactly. You need and figure. you have to hold it a certain way. And yeah. a Miles Morales figure comes with, with that. Yeah. But, but um, it's like the it looks like it's a separate piece glued in. I want like just a hand holding it with the the cap on the top. It shouldn't be hard. Someone's gonna do it eventually. Oh, yeah. Yep. And that's someone just went might into just all that me. custom action figure stuff, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. Greek. I, I'm like, I'm like, wait, I think I know what he's talking about. Yeah, action. <laughs> that's my thing. I do the action figure stuff. Mm, okay. Yeah. That stuff is so neat. I I can't. I I, I refuse to get into purchasing any of it mm. because it's all so good that I'd be like, There's I need so that. much. I yeah. need that. <laughs> Yeah, Rocco, if if, Rocco yeah. is reformed. He's gone on the straight and narrow. Mm. He used to be a, a degenerate uh, yeah. graffiti artist. Oh, oh, degenerate! <laughs> and uh, he's 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 reformed himself, and he's uh, he's living in Jersey now because he got he got uh, pushed out of Staten Island. Yeah, it's like the Fresh Prince. <laughs> you know what? Jersey's I, I better anyway. Them. Born and bred in New Jersey, Jersey's mm. better. No, yeah, I like Jersey. Jersey's cool. We got so you do you have the a taxes place, are Rocco? really high, but it's yeah, good. well, that, that's the price of living in the greatest state in the world. Mm. <laughs> that's debatable. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> come on, we're within throwing distance of everything. Oh, dude, yeah, honestly, <laughs> I, I, I'm get, I want to get to Florida as soon as possible. I couldn't live anywhere uh, else. Uh, oh God, I'd like to visit Florida, but it's like the city for me. I'd like to visit. I don't want to live there. 
So my grandmother lives in a little podunk town called Goose Creek, South Carolina. Goose Faba Creek? Goose, Goose Faba, Faba Creek. Creek. That's cool. Goose Creek. Yeah. Goose Creek. I like that. It's, but it's literally, it's a suburb of Charleston. So when I go visit, I actually stay in Charleston. I fly to Charleston. She's maybe seven minutes from the airport. She's really close, right? But when I, I lived down there in the late 80s, and then she moved down there, from, both from Jersey. And she stayed there. We moved back to Jersey because we just couldn't cut it in South Carolina. It wasn't for us. <laughs> um, so I go down and visit and it used to just be like dirt roads, right? It just used to be one strip mall, right? Yeah. I just went down there in December. I haven't been down there in seven years. I went down in this past December. It's just, and it, I mean, you know, Rocco route nine freehold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like, just, Car like, dealerships, yeah. every restaurant you could think of, mm -hmm. fast food, high scale restaurants, shopping, Target, Walmart, shop, mm. super, every built up. Literally, I felt like I was in freehold. It's I, crazy. So I'm like, dude, I could live here. Yeah, it's got everything. Well, I like Jersey. I like Jersey, but you know, it, it's just expensive, dude. That's why yeah. I got out of New York. Yeah, oh, my phone died. Oh, to revive well, it. Well, well. Well, the phone that I was I was broadcasting my uh, my face on. Oh, it was plugged in. It just didn't really. That's not good. It's a shitty cord. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, oh, you well. got to get the new cords on those. I know, right? Terrible. You think we pay this much for this stuff? It would work, but no. I thought it was charging. Those anyway, cords go wrong. So, where do you want to go in Florida, Rock? No, I, I don't really want to go to Florida, oh, okay. but it just seems like that's the place to live right now. It really it does seem like it. Yeah. If you want to die a heat stroke. Well, that too, yeah. <laughs> well, me, I can't do the heat. I uh, I have some medical issues that make me um, literally, uh, it's called heat intolerance. Hmm. <laughs> so wow. uh, basically, if I get too overheated, um, I get something called MS fatigue. Oh. And like I can't even like... Have you ever been on the Gravitron at a carnival? Yeah. Mm. The thing that spins around and sticks mm -hmm. you to the wall. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, so imagine your body weigh weighing more like that, but oh, continuing no. to go like that until you can't lift your limbs. That's not Jesus. good. No, no it's not, not fun. No. no. All right. Yeah, so let's keep you out of the heat, dude. Yeah. yeah. He heat's a trigger for that. So it's not yeah, fun. So definitely Staying never put Jersey, you in yeah. that situation. <laughs> if I could, I'd go further north. <laughs> I was going to say, why don't you like check out Antarctica and stuff? Yeah, yeah right? Seriously. You might be a super... the snow. Canada go... is the nicest time of year. <laughs> yeah, if you go to Antarctica, maybe you become super, like, super strength. Like, it's the oh, okay. opposite. Yeah. It's okay. the opposite. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? You could act like the heat's my kryptonite. And... Yeah, yeah. And the snow is my, my yellow sun rays. Yeah, it's like the reverse. <laughs> like, you just start, you start lifting things. You're like, I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> Nick smash. Yeah. <laughs> it's worth a try. <laughs> that's awesome uh, <laughs> sorry but, we're gonna go crazy here with this carnage uh -oh. you ready oh what boy. are you doing to it what do you you should do a pink carnage a pink one yeah why not you're not a bigot oh. what's he doing all right that's cool at first i was like don't oh no and then i was like oh so if I'm he does a pink carnage, right now and then I swirl it around. <laughs> if he does a pink carnage, he has to put like a physical, like heart behind it, like, mm. like actually out of the chest. Mm. <laughs> or you could put the uh, the breast cancer ribbon behind it. Oh, there like, you go, there you go. <laughs> and you could just, save, save the really, tatas. Someone really like they they they're doing breast cancer awareness, and they really like carnage. You get that one person, <laughs> that one person. So you'll really make their day. Well, yeah, I mean, come on, you see those things. people have the most random things with those ribbons. So yeah, they why really not? do. I've seen I've seen some crazy ones with those. So why not a carnage? Yeah, right. That's yeah, hilarious. that's a nice one. That's really nice. Me likey. But, it, but it's not pink, so. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a pink carnage just <laughs> for you, Rock. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. And I'm going to send it to the P.O. box, and you're going to have <laughs> to open it live. <laughs> Don't you dare. Don't you dare. You're like, all right, P.O. box. Oh, this one's from Deep Lake Mix. And now, now from now on, every box you get from me, you're going to be going to have a pink carnage. That. Don't you dare. I won't open them. <laughs> I'll send them return to sender, return please. To sender. 
You just, you're just going to drive to my house and put it in my mailbox. Oh my god, dude! So set your the, mailbox on fire. <laughs> my my PO box was the guy before me was like a drug, like a, one of those uh, what one of those like uh freaking smoke shops. Really? So oh, okay. It was. It's called like just blaze it bro or some it has the most ridiculous <laughs> name right and i think they're getting served papers or something like that so i keep getting these weird like uh things where they try to make me sign for stuff and and i'm Summonses like this is like me. that yeah yeah like all these weird things for just blaze it for Summons Tony, papers bro. yeah yeah and i'm just like <laughs> this is it's clearly dude but you know what got me mad in the beginning, they gave me such a hard time. They were like, if you get something to the, the P.O. box and it's not addressed to the name we have on file, we send it back to the people. And they actually did that a few times because people were writing like meme, you know, memes from my channel and stuff. And then, <laughs> But then they're giving me this just blaze it 420. I'm like, where? It, that's not on my papers. So <laughs> I, I yelled at the, the lady. Well, not yelled, but I went in there and just was like, you gave me such a hard time about the names. Then you're giving me blaze it 420 bro papers and it's like that's not on the my list and yeah. uh and i still get them so <laughs> and the story is i just got and what i do is like i chuck it back into the p.o box so it flies and they keep put i don't know dude i i yeah I what do you do do you put it back in like the um like the mail no, bin I'm not or something throw or... Out someone's mail so i just shoot it i you know i just shoot it back in the thing so it flies into their like so flies stuff. on the floor yeah like <laughs> shoot it back in there like i'm not happy with this and then get a can of compressed air <laughs> angrily yeah. you angrily throw it through the little slot yes that's what i i, I want to see the cameras i just chuck it back into that little slot but uh um, security camera just sees mail go Poof. yeah <laughs> but uh the last time it kept going back in there kept going so i just i brought a pen with me this time and i wrote not this p.o box and i didn't get it again so Oh, that's good. I'm gonna have to. Just You'd keep think doing they'd that. figure it out. Uh, wait. This name doesn't match this box. Yeah, Rocco, and then 420 Blaze it, bro, or something like that. I'm gonna <laughs> if, next one. I'm taking a video of it. Oh wow, bro! It looks so infected. Ooh, it looks like you're gonna get the coof just touching it, bro. <laughs> Wash your hands. Uh. Ugh. Yeah. Mm. That's a fun one. That's a fun one to do. It's not pink, I have but... a finished one here. Hold on. Mm. It's like a cooking show. Yeah. <laughs> Your bacon stuff with like... Blake. <laughs> yeah, bacon with Blake. I like that. It's like a cooking show. You know, I took, I, I put the roast in the oven, and then I take it out, and I say, oh, there you go. There's the finished one. Oh, nice. Oh, so, nice. yeah, like the food channel, right? Like, they, they yep. bake this whole thing, and then they pull out, like, a cooking They go to the next like... oven over and be like, we did this one earlier. Ta -da! Yeah, it's like, wait a second. Yep. Uh, you just demolish your current house at this point and build a giant goose fob ahead. Well, I've been watching. Catch up on the chat. Dude, I I've been like watching. I feel like I'm part of Rocco's stream now. We're gonna. I know you've got a lot of my people in here. We're gonna read the. No, I mean reading the chat an hour after we talk about oh. something. Well, <laughs> I, I like them building up, you know, so you can get to them. It's yeah. a, it's it's a co comedic throwback. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, yes, I have been looking into doing accessories and stuff. So I really want to start doing some. Um, you some need firearms a, a for a lot of the DC figures. Because oh, you know, yeah. DC has that thing now where they don't sell, they don't give guns with their figures anymore. But they give you gun hands though. Like yes, yeah, you get trigger hands, but no, no guns. No, no, no. No, you oh, get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they give you is, yes. gun hand like yes. this. Like I did this. see that. Two figures already have it. Red Hood mm -hmm. and Penguin. It's yeah. ridiculous. Ooh. What a joke. I think I so, only... yeah, that's uh take it easy. Uh, Tim, thanks for hanging out with me. Appreciate it. We're hanging out with us. I feel a little awkward because you guys are all about like your your action figures. I think I have, not including my Star Wars, not including my Star Wars. Uh, I think I have two action figures. Mm -hmm. mm. Hold on, Stick, keep it that way. Don't don't get into it. It's not. It's a crazy hobby. <laughs> it it sounds it. Yeah, this dude, don't, one. Don't get started. Yeah, once you get started, you never go blarded. Why is my phone not charging? So I got here. Is that Metallo? Old... Oh no, it's Terminator, right? I yeah, can't see. it's so small. And this one, this one is crazy. If you hold a light up to its head, its eyes will glow. Mm. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's got like a little window behind it. That's cool. Uh, hold on, let me try. Let me see if my phone will do it. I'm all about that base. About that base. No travel. Uh, there you go. Oh wow! Look. 
like they're oh, yeah, loud. That's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Toys don't do that no more. This thing is old school. Like I think I actually found it in a parking lot when I was like nine. <laughs> and go. it's just it's the Terminator. I can't get rid of it. No. Let's see. Uh, trademark 1991. Perfect. By perfect. Carl 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 Co. Carl Co. Mm. Not Kenner. Perfect. No, it says C A R O L C O. Mm. Mm. And then that's, it says China. It says China line. right on his ass. There you go. That's right the there. Best China. Part right, there. <laughs> right on China. the crack. That's China. a right tramp stamp. <laughs> huh. And my other one. Let me go grab that one. China. China. All right, I gotta go. I gotta get. I, hun, I feel bad. I wanted to just jump in here. No, man, I appreciate you hanging out, Rocco. Thank you, man, for stopping yeah, was, in. Thank you, Hun, for tolerating yeah, her nonsense. She's, she's right here. Uh, she was she was uh, watching you before fill those things. She makes cookies, so she said it's the same. Like it, it reminds her of filling the cookies. Would you? What's That's what called? somebody else referenced. Somebody piping. said it's like it's doing the royal piping. icing on sugar cookies. You're piping those things, bro. You're piping yep. them. Well, so thanks real for quick. hanging out, yeah, guys. This... Tomorrow, oh, that's berserk. Cool. Nice. Damn right, bro. Bro, you got good taste, my friend. Oh, let's see it. Oh, he's got the tattoo. Oh, Gutsu. Nice. Yep. I only yeah. watch the original series. I won't watch any of the other stuff. I tolerate the other stuff because you get more of the story. Oh, but it's not bad. It, it's, it's it's not a, as it's, good, but it's not bad. Well, the they had there was the three movie set that they did a few years ago. That one was fine. It was just kind of a condensed retelling of the original. Okay. And then they did two or three seasons with this grubby CGI. Uh, and if you can just get past it and accept the story, you get so much. Okay, so it's worth it's worth the it's, shot. It doesn't it's, ruin it's worth the it. original. No, 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 no. Okay, it just adds... it gives you more. Okay, yeah. Anime usually doesn't fail. Like American stuff, like I wouldn't watch anything. <laughs> Like if it was yeah. like a new thing to the old, okay, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I was give, so give afraid. it a watch because you get a lot more out of it. They mm. include characters that they didn't have before. Mm. The the new series, I think it picks up where the original left off. Okay. Um, and like I said, the 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 three there's a three movie thing that just does a condensed retelling. Okay. And it does it just fine. Yeah. Um, but what no, figure I, is that? What figure huh? that? Th what what figure is that? Is that Play Arts? Or uh, something it looks shit. that oh, looks big. Uh, it is big. It's uh how would you would you say 12 inch? Oh uh, no, hold on, I got my seven inch <laughs> swing. <laughs> it's uh almost nine? nine. Almost nine. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look that up because I've never I, I haven't seen that one. I've got nine actually oh, no, I remember I have this nine. and I have a uh, ricket. A ricket that goes along oh, nice. with it. Yeah, I have the little ones. Oh, I found it already. Uh, Nine-inch figure figure art. Oh, okay. Oh, it is, it's an SHF figure art? SHF no, figure but art? it's a figure art. It's not figure arts. Oh. Which is, I don't know. You know, the Japanese companies, they do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, was I, a gift. I have the little five-inch figures. Okay. So that's, I'm going to look into these. Cool. Well, yeah, dude, it was nice It's super you. high detailed. Yeah, it was great talking to you. Yeah, and um, and uh, D. Blake makes. I'll see you. Are you going to be in the stream tomorrow? Of course, I'll be there tomorrow. All right, we have a good one tomorrow planned. And bro, you're invited too. Let have D. Blake awesome. send you the link. You know? Yeah, excellent. Yeah, All tomorrow right. six o'clock. Six o'clock. I know it's early. Great. I might. I, I'm going I'm gonna start talking. Maybe we're gonna go later. I don't know why we started doing six, and uh, I might go late again. I don't know. But dude, it was nice seeing you guys. I'm out of here. Thank you, you know. for hanging out, brother. Have a great night. Good night, hun. <laughs> Good night, hun. All right, bye, guys. <laughs> Later. Take it easy. All right, man. Oh, this has been fun. Yeah, it's been a good time, man. Yeah, I mean, I told you I wanted to, like, kind of collab or, or, you know, get going on this with you. So that's pretty cool. Definitely, man. I, like, I, and I tell everybody, I, I open this up to, uh, to anyone that wants to come on, hang out, chat for a bit. Show off yeah. what you got. That's why I say, you know, I got you on here. I want to see what you're making. You know, I want to see what's uh, what's new in the Crimson Ducky world. Yeah. Oh, I just figured out that I can look at the current comments. I'm an idiot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been going for like 40 minutes here, and it's like, uh, I'm like, I can't see what anyone's saying. <laughs> yep, they're over there. Got it. Okay. 
Uh, let's see. Ross Ryan catching up on the chat. I've been after a 2002 Green Goblin helmet scan and glider for the Legends, but everyone prints them in a limited subscription service. Yeah, that's one thing that bothers me too, Ryan, is um, – see, now we're getting into, into toy talk here. Um, a lot of these 3D sculptors will – will only do a certain amount of, of figure like of sculpts like they'll run it and then they'll never make it again mm. and i don't understand that mentality you've got people that want to buy from you yeah like shut up and take my money you're saying no to money dude that's the honestly that's like my core disgust with funko pops yeah besides the fact that there are so many yeah but their their production molds are limited. Yeah. As soon as the mold is no longer usable, they never use it again. Yeah. And that that to me it, it creates artificial inflation. Yep. And I don't feel like it's right. I mean, I know there are people like, oh, but I love my collection and it's so valuable. But honestly, it's like I would just like to get cool pops at a reasonable price. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm lucky um, I don't get into pops, but you know what? It's the same for figures as well. Once a figure is run, once that once that wave or set of figures is out, mm -hmm. um, you're not going to get it again. And there are people paying ridiculous amounts of money for it. So I've got a Spider-Man figure, the retro retro bill uh, retro carded Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. um, he's going loose for eighty dollars and on card for a hundred to one hundred and twenty dollars. Jesus, for a twenty dollar figure that came out. Maybe six months ago. That's crazy. It is crazy. So, you know, I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. I had two of them. So so <laughs> I said, you know what? Uh, you know, I have one open. That's all I really needed. I was holding on to the other one for, you know, just to hang on to it. And it jumped up so high. I said, you know what? I'm going to put this up for 110. And if somebody buys it, then somebody buys it. I don't think it lasted for two hours. I posted it up mm. on Mercari and within two hours, somebody bought it. That's crazy. Yeah. I like the I like this one from Briscoe. All that Funko plastic that could be going to real figures. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's a shame. Damn I mean, Funko I've Pop. I've got a couple Funkos. I've got, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I th I think I have eight total Funkos. Okay. Um, I'm a ner ninja turtle lunatic. So my nice. mom got me, she got me this ninja turtle. Uh, she got me the turtle van. It's also got Leonardo. So those, you know, count that as three. I've got a giant Michelangelo Ninja Turtle. I couldn't pass it up. It was the Toon uh, one or the uh, NECA? Uh, uh, or the movie. It, it's the movie one. It's oh um, yeah, the eighteen inch ones. Yeah, yeah, with the uh, with the donuts. Yep. Um, one of my other ones is. Uh, this Michelangelo. Okay, yeah. Um, I've got a what is it? A twelve inch or eighteen inch Mando and Child. Okay. Um. Then I've got what else do I have? Uh. Oh, I've got some of the bobblehead exclusive ones. It's a, a C three PO and a Ghost Yoda. Okay, cool. And I guess it's a Funko Pop. It's a, a I think it's a San Diego Comic Con Iron Man Mark One bobblehead. Okay, exclusive. This one. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I don't. Oh, and I have. I I think it's done by Funko Pop. What's up, Rock Sam Rock? Yes, this is from. This is a technically from Funko Pop, but it's a, a Domo Superman. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've seen those. That's cool. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, half of these are were gifts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the That's the only... same thing with me. So I don't really collect Funko Pops, but like there are people that know of my Spider-Man obsession. Okay. And so they would get me, you know, Spider-Man Pops just, just to, you know, because they thought I would like it. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't really collect pops, but you know, these are they're kind of cool. And I'm kind of at that stage in my collection now where I'm like, well, until another round of figures comes out, there's nothing else I want to collect. So might as well get some Funko Pops, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I uh, you know, it, like I said, I mean, I don't I don't particularly 
care for them. I like the ones I have. Right. Um, oh, one of them. I got this one here. It's a zombie rogue. That one I got as a door prize on, I think it was free comic book day at the nerd mall. Oh, nice. They were just like, here you go. I was like, all right. <laughs> Uh-oh, we've so. got a bad Fantastic Four here, guys. This one's no good. Bad print? Yep, bad print. Just noticing it now. So something happened here at the R. Can't really see it there. You get a little glare there where the R did not finish, the center of the R didn't raise uh, up. So there's no lip there. So the paint would just, so run just there. fill just, in. Yeah. No bueno. Not they good. Build up quick, Peggy Dad. Gary, once you start with the pops, they do build up quickly. Yeah. I've got a friend who um he literally he started collecting them and he turned it into a, a little bit of a side hustle where he sells them now. Nice. Oh, I, I do have one more. I've got one more. It's uh, and this one I did buy and I wanted <laughs> and I bought from him. He told me he had it. Uh, and that is All Might. Oh, that's cool. In his half transform form Steve, from, yeah. from his final fight. So, I mean, that one I was like, I need that. It's I think it's got like glow in the dark hair and stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> Nice. So, you know, like I said, I'm not totally against it, but I, I there are some core things about it that, that bug me. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I'll never be a hardcore collector. I just can't do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I know much... some real hardcore collectors. Do you know uh, Tom Alienware Pop Bling? Mm, maybe if I saw him, but... So he makes custom pop collector, uh, custom, custom pop um, protectors. But he also makes these uh, time capsule things. Um, they're like little plastic um, plastic shields for, for collectibles. Okay. And uh, he does pops. But like he, when he, he was at the show, he was a uh, table next to me, two tables over from me at the Merchantville show. Okay. Um, but yeah, he does. He's a pop collector and he sells custom pop uh, protectors. And he'll he'll bring some really rare pops to the shows and like i was at the woodbridge show with him one time he's like he's like oh how you doing i was like i'm doing okay how about you he's like doing good you know i'm making i just made about 600 so far i'm like damn 600 he goes yeah i sold two pops what i was like what do you two two only two he goes yeah just two pops and i said you sold two pops for 600 dollars. that's crazy 300 dollars each there are very few collectibles that I will pay that kind of money for. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, there's uh, there's very yeah, exactly, very few that there's I There's actually I can say there's only one collectible item that will even get close to that that I'm willing to deal with right now and it's not even out yet. Mm -hmm. Um are you familiar with the Wand company? No. Okay, a couple years ago they made a functional Bluetooth uh Star Trek communicator. Oh, okay. Um, well, they have a coming out supposedly, uh, and they've been, you know, they've been updating through a blog and everything. It's going to be a functional original series tricorder that actually oh. takes scientific readings. Really? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And supposedly it's only gonna be like 250 bucks. That's, that's pretty cool. Like, I, like, I what, that like kind barometric of that. pressure and stuff or like, yeah, like, yeah. Like temperature, apparently it, it'll have all sorts of different sensors, stuff. all sorts of different stuff. So, huh. I mean, I'll pay money for that. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I'm as far as like collecting stuff, I like to get into kind of like movie props and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I got just off on my side here. I've got a, uh, it's not in great shape. It's a, a Franklin Mint phaser okay. with detachable oh, communicator. Oh, wow, that's nice. It's not in great shape, but it it's it's good enough to put on a shelf and look at. Yeah, Franklin Mint does good work. Um, It's super heavy. I mean, this thing has to weigh three or four pounds. Oh, wow. So yeah. it's, it's all like, it's all metal. Yeah, it, well, it's metal, and the communicator is actually, it looks like it's kind of bake light. Huh. Very interesting. Then, um, are you familiar with um, QMX? No. 
quantum mechanics. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. 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 I. Yes. Okay. I know him now. Yeah. So th- I've I've kind of fallen out of favor with them. Like I I used to love all their stuff, but they've gone more. They do the they do the little uh, diorama sets too. Like it's almost like a a Funko Pop. Yeah, they've got their Q pops or something yeah, like Q-pops. that. Q figs. Q figs. Q figs. Yeah, and I think it's a kind of a dumb thing to try and go up against Funko Pop at this point, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But they used to do some amazing stuff. So they did phasers from the new Star Trek. Oh wow! Holy crap! That's two versions. Wow. So this one is from um, what was the first new one? Uh, Star Trek. Not into darkness. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah. So anyway, this is a second one. And the cool thing about the second one is mm-hmm. it can switch from stun to kill. Oh. Because that's how they did it in the new one. The uh the nozzle or barrel that's would, cool. would switch. It just flips like that instead yeah. of like a thumb trigger or something like that. Yeah, and I mean there's little details like so this has a gray handle where this has a chrome handle. Um, but they put a lot of detail into them. I mean, they're they're just plain display props, but those are neat. Um, so, did you ever? Frisco, s- do you mean a functional PK meter that can actually like deter- detect spirits? No, no, no. It's a no, it's no, no. A, Briscoe ask. Uh, Briscoe says a functional PKE meter would be cool. It would. It would. So I'm like, does he mean functional that would actually detect like anomalies and in, in uh, electromagnetic fields and? Uh, Okay, like, yeah, yeah, I hear you. Essentially spirit and, uh, you know, like the I mean, Ghostbusters they, and they use all that as you point it. They use all that stuff to get, you know, the, those ghost hunters. They do the EM. I watch those stuff. shows almost every night and they're the worst shows. Like I they watch are. them before bed because they just, they're so bad. Yeah, they, they so, are. The ghost, the ghost Adventures is terrible. Zach Baggins is the worst actor I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. He's terrible 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 but i do like the shows there's a show called paranormal caught on camera that i like because that's actually like home footage of like security cameras and stuff like catching weird shit (laughs) and i like that i like like i don't like it you like i don't like scary shit like that but i do i like watching it because it's it's fascinating to me but like like you'll show like covers moving on the beds or like a chair flying across the room or something like that. And I'm just like, no, no, I don't like that. <laughs> so have you ever seen a show called warehouse 13? I've, I know of it. I've never watched it. So there's a device that they use, which would have been like their steampunk version of a smartphone called a Farnsworth. Uh huh. And QMX made, two different prop versions of it for the show. And then you, we got them as them. Well, one of them functions. I mean, it doesn't, you can't get video, but you can get it to oh wow, do, do, do some of the stuff from the show and make all the sounds. Mm-hmm. And it's a little hard to tell, but I mean, like it's real brass plating. So like that's I said, cool. I like to collect props. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool, man. I got over on one of my other shelves. I've got uh, it's not a great replica, but it's a it's a passable distance replica of uh, the uh, Indiana Jones Jones um, uh, journal, the diary. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I've seen I've seen quite a few copies of that, and it's very cool. It's I've I've been intrigued to uh, to even maybe get one because they are pretty cool. Yeah, and the one I have, it's got all sorts of little knickknacks in it. So it's got like, it's got Indiana Jones's birth certificate, and it's got the ticket for the Zeppelin. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a copy of the map, um, the topographical map, and then it's you know, so it's got all sorts of little added stuff. That's um, cool. And all the pages pretty much have stuff on them. It's just not the highest quality print. Yeah, that's right um, here, but it, it doesn't matter because it's as long as there's just something on the page. Yeah, exactly. And this has actual legible writing on the page. Yeah. Like, Peggy Dad, where are you, Gary? What do you think of my alternative Fantastic Four? So normally I do, I do have a question. How how did you shadow? That looks to me spot on to be the right blue. 
How did you get that blue right? It's just royal blue. That's all it is? Just yeah. out of the box, royal blue? Out of the bottle, out of the, out of the can. Yeah. But I, I ask I ask Peggy Dad, his name's Gary, he's in Scotland, and it's like three o'clock in the morning there. <laughs> um, but he is a big fantastic four fan. So I, I I like his opinion about when I do something new and different. There he is. Check the chat, mate. I am checking the chat. I'm here. Oh, did you see something up above? Uh other fantastic four going like a negative suit. Oh, okay. That's one added to the list. Okay, yep, I got you. <laughs> he always likes when I do something different. Hey, you got to change it up sometimes. I, um, I'm going to be honest with you. I started painting that, and uh, I realized I put the white where the blue went, and then I said, you know what? I'm going to do this it. as a variant now. <laughs> That's what you got to do. Oh, I That's how variants Let's happen, keep man. <laughs> Somebody screws up, and then you're just like, oh, it's a variant now. Yep. So here's here's the the Grail diary. The what? Oh, the diary. Yeah, nice. So as you can see, just kind of all. Yeah, and it's got the fold-in papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's reversing. It's even got images printed on some of the pages, like yep. like they were hand sketched. Yeah, so, no, I like it. Mean? I've seen I've seen a lot of information on it. Adam Savage did did a a, a short thing on it. Um, it's on actually got the channel. It's got um, uh, what's yep. his. What's his face? Uh, Sean Connery's face grafted onto the picture here. Yep. Oh, I love tested, dude. Love tested. Yeah. So yeah, he he did a tested. He did a thing on the Grail uh, diary, and he said, you know, it's not what's cool. It's not just a bunch of lorem ipsum in there. It's actual like written stuff. Yeah. So, I, I like that. Yeah. Actually, I uh, I did have like fifteen minutes of fame. Uh, not this past year, but the year before, because I got retweeted by Adam Savage. Oh yeah. Um, for my nephew. Well, I have a, I have a, a niece and two nephews. Uh, my niece and one of the nephews are twins. And then they have a little brother. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, the twins just turned five and their little brother just turned four. Nice. So every year they do kind of themed Halloween costumes. Mm -hmm. and not this year but the year before they ended up doing beauty and the beast and my poor younger nephew justin he got stuck being one of the third party characters because <laughs> the twins were beauty and the beast yeah so like uh clocksworth Co clocksworth cogsworth yeah cogsworth. yeah so <laughs> so they, they made him cogsworth and it was like well, if he's going to be stuck being a character he had no choice in and, you know, one, not one of the main characters, he's going to have the best costume you've ever seen. Right. So I, because I've watched so much Tested and Adam Savage and stuff making costumes. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I cosplayed the hell out of his, his Cogsworth costume uh -huh. and... I'm gonna try and show it to you on my phone and see if that that works. Oh, that's great! Yes, yeah, that's straight, really good. Straight up Cogsworth. It's got an actual real pendulum in there. Uh -huh, so it's tick in, yeah. And so I I messaged Adam Savage, thanking him for his for his Tutelage. different videos. Yeah, because they helped me do that, and he Absolutely. retweeted it, yeah. and a hundred and fifty thousand people saw the the tweet. I was like, "What? That's great." <laughs> Nobody followed me, but <laughs> what are you going to do? Still, though, it's it's just it's cool that you got you know that kind of uh, that yeah. kind of acknowledgement. Yeah, I mean, he saw it and must have thought it was good enough. Yeah, so and that's what's cool about him, right? Is that he's like he's just an everyday guy, like. He reads his tweets. He's not. He doesn't yeah. have somebody else doing his Twitter. That's just saying, uh, you know, thank you for your response. Thank you for yeah. you know tagging me or whatever. You know, like he's actually engaging with his fans. Yes, it's really awesome. And, and that's like you know just like you know at the comic cons and stuff like that. He goes out on the floor mm -hmm. and he engages with the fans. He talks to them. He takes pictures with them. 
you know, like he hides from them. Yeah. <laughs> at New York, at New York Comic Con, you know, he did have a private signing, a private, you know, photo signing uh-huh. and stuff like that, just like all the other celebrities. He charged eighty dollars for a meet and greet and uh, autograph. But then you've got people like um uh who was there? Um I forgot who was there. Somebody who was there charging oh John Cena was like almost three hundred dollars. Oh, I just I don't know. Uh... See, I've and only then... I've o- only ever done one of those. I've I've only gotten to go to New York Comic Con one time mm-hmm. and I did a an autograph and kind of handshake, not a full meet and greet. Um, with Alan Tudyk. Are you familiar with? No, I don't know, Alec. Um, uh, okay. Have you seen Firefly? Yes. Uh, he's the pilot. Watch. Oh, okay. I got you. Um, and I think I paid $45 for his autograph. That's and good. what I got signed, let me grab it. So it's another one of my, my, uh, props, uh, is a replica of the serenity ship paperwork nice um and i had him sign because on the ship's manifest it has a spot for all the characters to sign their name and it's oh blank. that's cool so you got to go down the list yeah so here here's here's that and then i'll open it up and what's all good casey did i miss something casey martinez so then right here we have Alan Tudyk's signature, and then you can see all the other blank spots waiting. Oh, yeah, you got to get those filled up, brother. I really do. Um, unfortunately, uh, the guy who played Shepard Book, uh, I believe his name is, is it Robert Glass or Glass? Or may, I, forget his, I forget his name. Uh, I, it's been forever since I've seen him in anything. Unfortunately, he passed away. Yeah. So I'll have to fill that in with just like a signed photo at some point. Yeah. Okay. But no, That's I mean, the thing, Alan, man, it's hard because you never know what's going to happen with these celebrities, you know? Yeah. And I mean, Alan Tudyk, he was phenomenal. Um, you know, he, he was just super nice. And I like him in like all the stuff he does. He's hilarious. Mm-hmm. I, I have, if I see a picture of him, I'll, I think I'll know who he is. Um, trying to think if I up. have anything with him on it. Sorry, I can look him up. Um, he was also he was the redheaded squire guy in A Knight's Tale. Okay. Uh, he did the voice for King Candy in Wreck It Ralph. Oh, okay. Um, I think he was in. I I've never seen it, but I think it was a movie, Death at a Funeral. I've never seen the movie. I know the movie. I've never seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it either. Um, okay. So he's been around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's one of those that, you know, if you see him, you'll know who he is. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But, I mean, he's hilarious and super cool guy. Um. Yeah, I was. Just, I didn't even know he was going to be there. And me and my friends were there. I was like, I need to get his autograph. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I've got the paperwork here. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I was uh, actually kind of mad uh, because there was Martinez, bro. It's all good. I still, I, well, it's all good. I missed him. Rose Ryan. I loved him in Resident Alien. Yeah. Yeah. That's his new show. I think they just started the second season. Ron Glass. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Good call, Briscoe. Um, yeah. Yeah. His, he has a show on, I think it's USA, Resident Alien. Okay. Um, I've seen I've seen like half of the first season. It was hilarious. I just haven't gotten around to watching the rest of it because, you know, there's so many things to watch. <laughs> what else should we paint? Avengers? Let's do some Avengers. I didn't have I had some new designs I wanted to do this week, um, but I ran out of filament. Oh, so I thought and nothing. I nothing's shipping on time these days, is it? No. I ordered it a week ago, and it's now. I just got shipping today. That's going to be here on Tuesday, next Tuesday. So I'll be ready for next week. But I've got like five new designs I wanted to do this week. Um, but you know, again, I thought I had one roll left, and it turned out to be red. So I was like, uh, "Oh shit!" So, but I'll tell you what. Since I'm not printing signs, I'm printing other little things to help me out around, <laughs> like for my shows and stuff. 
So um, I have a banner across my table, right? Mm -hmm. And the banner's always falling down because there's nothing really to tie it to. So yeah. I made some table clamps. Oh, nice. With a hole to run the string for my banner through. So I put that on the on the table and then I can run the string through and tie it right off. And now I've got a table anchor. Well, that's really neat. Right? Yeah. You can make all kinds of cool stuff. We uh <laughs> we use um little net bags filled with uh um glass beads or yeah, yeah, yeah. chunks and people like more times than I can count people have been like looking at our table and they pick up the bag of beads and they're looking at like it's just, it's just to hold it's the just sign to weigh down my my <laughs> banner guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so that's I got those clips now usually I run the the uh string around the side of the table and put it and attach it to my um shelves right and that holds it up mm -hmm. but um that works only on the thicker plastic tables because yeah. the the rope can go alongside around the corner, around the bend of the table. Yeah. But I was at toy con and I got this little shitty three quarter inch. Literally it was like a piece of she of plywood on uh -huh. a plastic, on a so metal it's, it's fiberboard ones, right? Yeah. It was a shitty little table. So my sign kept falling. So I was just like, I need something better. So like the next day I came and I brought binder clips and that worked, but I was like, I need something better and I need something that's adjustable. So whether I have a thick table or a thin table, you know, so yeah. I just made this little C clamp so I can go to a thick table. I can go all the way down to, you know, if it's a three quarter inch table and then, uh, you know, get it nice and tight and then just run my string through that. So I've got a guide and I'll keep, hopefully in, in theory, it'll keep my string tight. Yeah. What I so. think I'm probably going to do is just take some metal clamps and then I've got these nice hefty, uh, magnetic hooks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll I'll put the clamp under my tablecloth, and then I can just pop the hook on. Yeah, I actually looked into using those those me those uh metal those metallic hooks. They're strong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I use them. I actually use them to hold my uh, vinyl cut mats on the side of my machine. Oh, that's yeah, that's good because yeah, they're strong, and then they pop right off. Yeah, actually, we just got a new uh, a new table sign ourselves. Oh yeah. Um, Where do you get your? Do you have a guy that makes your signs or? Uh, we did, and this time we went with. Oh, I'd, I'd have to look up the company, but we got a two foot by six foot sign for twenty five dollars. Yeah. Twenty five? Yeah. Holy shit! And hold on, I'll hold it up to. Because I I have a two foot by six foot sign. I got it made of Staples, and I got the the basic like the basic grade vinyl, uh -huh. and that was that was uh, fifty bucks, I think. Yeah, like I'll try and get it in. Like, look at oh, look yeah, at the, that's, that's... the fidelity on it. Like, they actually had like they came back at me and they were like, "Look, we're not going to print it if you don't send us uh, a better image." Because I just took my my image and increased. Oh yeah, the size. so they wanted something more high res. Yeah, and it came out high res. Like, it's beautiful. Yeah. And like, I love that they were like, "Look, we'll refund you immediately, but we're not going to print it like this." Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good business. Yeah, let me find. I I did that and I did business cards through them. They uh they ship to you. They're not local. Yeah, they ship. Oh, good. Yeah, send it to me, man. Because, I mean, I get my business cards made at um Staples. I well, I was getting them done at Staples, but it's like seventeen dollars for five hundred. Yeah, well, for and I don't guys... care because you know you learn in graphic design. One thing is ninety percent of people throw your business card out. So yeah. don't spend a lot of money on business cards. Well, we we upgraded our business card because well, we needed new ones because we now have an actual website, even though yep. it's not launched yet. So here's the new one. Um, and where's the old one? And here's and I used the to old get one. My business cards made online from a print company, and you know, I had rounded corners on it and I had spot gloss. Those are nice. So so this is a staples one. This yeah. is the new one. Oh wow, yeah, that's night and day. So I can see my the, reflection in the new one. Well, the the old one, the main reason I went looking for a new, a new one is because Staples wouldn't let me get rid of the white border. Oh, really? Yeah, even though on the back side it was solid. Like these on the back side, you'd be yeah. hard pressed to tell them I apart. Have no, I have no border on my cards. Where's for for whatever reason, I couldn't get them to let me do red. It was because I needed this red. 
Yeah. And they wouldn't let me do it. I don't so print I on like, the back either. I just keep it simple. But yeah. no white border. Um, I have actually they these people also uh, it's oh gotprint.com. Got print? Yeah. They sent me for free, they sent me a sample pack that has all sorts of different like they do like stickers and stuff, but it sent me all their different business card types. Mm -hmm. And like the cool thing is it's got the business card and then it's got all all its stats. It's uh uh you know print on 14 point gloss cover, um its size, all that. Oh wow. Um so it was really nice because I got to kind of see all the the different options before I bought. Yeah. Um, the, and I think, hold on, I got no problem telling you what I paid for stuff. Uh, let me look it up. Let me look at my, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good with my table banner for now, but I was looking into another one. Yeah. I mean, for the price of it, I, I mean, I couldn't pass yeah. it up. I was like, Oh, um, seriously. Order. It'll be my print guys too. And I'm I think I got free shipping because I spent enough. I think white or blue, Gary, for the last one. I know you're still here. Let me see what I have in stock. So yeah, uh banner one $25.63, full color wow. front, no back sides, size two foot. By six foot horizontal material, 13 ounce premium scrim matte vinyl. Well, you're um, lucky, Gary, because it was going to be blue anyway, because I already have two white ones in stock. That's a great price, dude. Yeah. Uh, and then business cards, $2,500 for $49.70. Holy crap. Yeah, dude. Um, send me a DM on Instagram with with their link if you don't mind. When yeah, you can. no problem. Absolutely. Just so I, I mean, have it, I'm gonna reach out to them. Yeah, they did send an alert that they will have some price increases because industry wide stuff's yeah, going up course. this year. It's, but it's natural, but still, it's still gonna be better than you know. Still better than Staples. Else. Yeah. See, I, I, think, I think it was like two week turnaround. My house. So yeah, it's, they're easy to just get to, and again, seventeen dollars for. 500 i didn't think was bad but if i can get five times that amount for double the price yeah and i had mine weren't the cheapest i could have yeah. done cheaper if i'd gone matte but i went glossy yeah no i love gloss i love a gloss card um i wish i, I don't know if it was me missing it uh because these are not gloss on the back yeah and i don't know if that was an option i missed you should look into spot gloss so like spot gloss, spot gloss would be your whole card matte, but the duck shiny. Oh, they do do like raised print options as well. Oh, that's you made cool me think too, of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, like they have they have tons of options. Um, let me. I'm gonna DM you that right now so I don't forget. Shite bag. I wish I would love to hear you say that, Gary. Oh, look, we forgot the red right there. Guys, tell me these things. Is my phone charged enough? Let's see. Twenty-one percent. Yeah, I think I can get back on. All right. I just DM'd you the link for that. I appreciate that. Thank of you. Of course. All right. Oh, that reminds me. Something simple that I've recently did because the new cutter does something called contour cutting. Oh yeah, yeah. I know contour cutting. Yeah. So so we. We needed tags for every item at Rancocas because we're in a stall and they process everyone's sales. So you got to have a, your dealer number, the price, and the item name. Really? Yeah. yeah. So that way you get credit for your stuff and people can't swap out tags and all that stuff. Oh, wow. Um, so I was able to do this on my cutting machine. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's good. That's professional, man. Little labels like that. And well, it's funny because like I'm able to make 50 labels on a single sheet of I use um what is it? I use these for um Ocarina songbooks that I make. Uh, uh it's 32 pound parchment paper. 
and it prints just fine, but it also it it did this cutout really nice. Like it even it even put the tag hole on without me having to use like a hole punch or something. And um I was thinking the next time I do some, I think I might do them in the shape of a duck. Sorry, I was drinking. What was that? No, no. I said the next time I do some uh do tags i might just do them in the shape of a duck that's a clever idea that's a that's a fantastic idea oh turtles sorry i, I nope. love turtles <laughs> you should you should absolutely do them in, in the shape of ducks yeah check this out sitting right next to my computer ninja turtles playing cards oh that's sweet C circa 1990 oh yeah yeah uh peggy's dad um Alan Tudyk was the voice of K2SO in Rogue One. Yeah. Peggy's dad knows his stuff. Yeah, I've got a... Uh, right here next to me, I've got Spider-Man playing cards. Nice. I have Spider-Man everything. Very nice. I was never huge into Spider Man. I always enjoyed Spider Man, but yeah, no, my my, I I can't right now with my screen. Let me see if I can get back on here. I'll do a quick run around on this. Come on. Uh, one thing we do have that you might like. We have uh, one of our artists um, has a really nice Spider Man print that we're that we do. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can. We've got both. Uh, well, does 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 your interest goes only to Spider Man or to, to the Spider Verse? The Spider Verse, because we also have a really badass Spider Gwen. Oh yeah. Um, let me see if I can pull it up and show you. Inking solstice. You were there for a second. There we go. All right. So let's do a quick, just oh, a quickie. A quick tour. Turn the can. Can I turn the camera around? Move from stream. Oh, cam. Nope. That shuts it off. All right. We're just going to do it like this. Okay. Hopefully my battery doesn't die on me. I got 20%. I should be good for a little bit. So this whole wall goes all the way down. Hey, hey, is that Spider-Man there? I think I see Spider-Man. There's a couple, there's a couple <laughs> Spider-Mans here. <laughs> Just a few. I'm actually reorganizing. I'm going to be redoing the display. That Spider-Man head looks bigger than a normal human head. It's a uh, life size. It looks even Actually, bigger. Yeah, so if I <laughs> held it up, it would be very nice. Pretty close to life size. That is epic. And then the fact that the fact that they're on bleachers, they have their own bleachers. Down. I'm going to be redoing the whole display. You there's need to do a goblins. sign. You got to do a sign for the entrance to that room that says Spider Man Stadium because they have bleachers. <laughs> the Spider Stadium. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. I the made all those stadium. risers too. Very easy. Yeah. That was um, They're bleachers. That's a two-inch PVC trim, flat oh, trim. There you go. You can cut it with a with a utility knife and then just glue it or screw it. <laughs> so there's my little spawn corner. Very nice. Then over here, the posters. Okay. Some older figures here. And then it's just a mess in here. It's like I've got a pile of figures down here on the floor. <laughs> then there's another wall. That is some serious collecting right there. So that's my iron spiders, potato head spiders, little venom shelf. There's all my little Funkos. There's my turtles. Nice there's turtles. Actually, there's all my turtles. Oh, and I saw a lino in there too. Yep, there's there's my turtle collection and uh, all oh. the figures. Oh, you got a Casey Jones mask. I got the oh. I got the only figure I am missing from the turtles line is the um, 
is the Donnie and uh, Donatello and Leonardo two pack. Oh wow! Like I even got this guy a couple weeks Dude. ago. Dude, oh, I mean that that like, that is so expensive. All that because those are those uh, Necos. Yeah. Oh my god! Like one of those is like a hundred dollars. Yeah. This this is over three hundred dollars. Jesus. But I got it for free. Oh, you you crazy bastard! <laughs> See, this is my problem because I really want to collect the Ninja Turtle Neckos and I can't afford it at all. Yeah, just and these like these that this this Scorpion figure is a hundred dollars now. Uh, that Johnny Cage is like a hundred dollars. They're, they're just they're ridiculous now. Uh, the honestly, the only <laughs> Neko I really really want, like I don't need every figure. I'd love every figure. I really want to get one of the Michelangelo cartoon style ones where it's got the black lines painted on all the. Yeah. yeah, all... yeah. Oh man. I want one of those so bad, <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it'd be great to have all oh, those are really nice too. Oh yeah. Um, but I I'm also worried that if I were to list. invest in one, I'd end up like going down the rabbit hole. Is that a oh, pumpkin you mean, head? You mean these new spawn figures, uh, Frisco? Was it, was that one here, back so there? Was was that a pumpkin head? Yeah, it is pumpkin head. I'll get back nice. to you in a second. Yeah, so <laughs> here's here's yeah. So I got Lino and Mumra, and here's Sly still in the box. And then there's here's the clown. There we go. Clown. Nice. And Manga I, have, Spawn. I have to go back, back and rewatch Spawn. I haven't seen that in forever. And Gunslinger. And Redeemer. And Raven. And Violator. So yes, I am. I've gotten. I've gotten them. That's epic. And then yeah, so there's Pumpkinhead. That's crazy. The Fly. Alien. These are all the movie maniacs. Mezco. And down here we've got some Hellraiser, Candyman, the Jasons, Freddy, Wishmaster. I also have Chucky and Michael Myers I haven't opened yet. i got to get them on the list, on the shelf here. Epic. And here's my Jaws. Was that one, the, um, the Evil Ash from Army of Darkness? Yep. Nice. His hand broke off. He took a fall. I have to put uh, it back on. <laughs> I'm surprised I recognized him. I was like, that looks like, could it be? Yeah. <laughs> and then the Jaws. That, that to me, is one of my favorites right there. That is that, amazing. That old McFarlane Jaws. Yep. That is fantastic. I didn't even know they made stuff like that, honestly. <laughs> and then there's my Kill Bill. There's a spawn just laying there. But there's Kill Bill. I got that whole set last year for a ridiculous price and then down here goes aliens and predators and then over here are all my busts you got yourself a sexy spider-man up top yeah <laughs> love it and that, yeah that's awesome so yeah that's that's a gist and then it just it just goes the whole, you know, the yeah, whole room. yeah. <laughs> it's the whole room. Very nice. Uh, this is this is the spider Gwen. I don't know if this is going to show up all right. I plan on picking up life and when they ever make it to car. Oh, Canada, yeah. Br oh, Brisk, I didn't know you were in Canadian. Some of those are showing up in Canada now, from what I understand. Let's see if I can get this back on here. There we go. All right. <laughs> Supita Man. <laughs> yes, Supita Man is the best Spider Man. Let me catch up on the chat here. Uh, some stuff. Yeah, I have some stuff. Captain America. I have I have uh I have a worthy cap. That counts. That definitely counts. Uh pop me up big real quick. I want to see how this shows up for you. Oh yeah, that's sick. The details obviously better when it's not glary off a phone. So there's that, and then we've got this 
Very nice Spider-Man. Oh yeah, I love that. Um, the the Spider Gwen we actually have in wood, and then he's got a couple. He's got a Venom. Oh yeah, let me see that Venom again. I wasn't paying attention. I saw it in the end. Oh, that's I love that. This glare is horrible, but you get the now, idea. This guy we, draws those. Uh yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Um, he has an Instagram, I would imagine. He does. Uh, unfortunately, he's not making any new stuff right now because, and we don't know why, but he's in prison in oh. Canada. <laughs> oh God! And this one. Oh, well, I hope he gets out soon because yeah. I would really like some of those. Well, we have permission to produce them on wood, wood and metal, so. Nice. If there's one that you want done, I on might a specific have to get medium. a metal print. I I'm kind of short on wall space. If you hadn't noticed, gotcha. I have um, I have a whole bunch of art for, that I got <laughs> at uh, New York Comic Con that yeah. is still sitting in a protective sleeve because I um, I don't have room for it. Yeah. No, I get that. Um, <laughs> my walls are pretty full of art as it is myself. Mm -hmm. I don't have any shelving uh, like you. I just have wall art. Uh -huh. um, I can show a little bit of it. Uh, so my hands are clean enough that I don't mind opening these. Oh, yeah. I love that victory poster. Yeah, that one's great. Um, and then uh, I've got my pixel art over there. I got metal. I've got, I've space. got... I... Yeah, so I mean... And then, I because it's my laptop, I Not can't really spin idea, it all the way Gary. around. But. He's, Gary says I have roof space. <laughs> I'm going to start pasting stuff to the ceiling. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad idea. Yeah. I've true. got, so my buddy, I'm going to bring this up here. My buddy gifted me this. Oh, nice. From the original Spider-Man movie. Oh. Very There's nice. actually three versions of this. I didn't know about it. There's three versions, and now I have to find the other two because I want them all. Nice. Yeah. But So he, he gave me this um, because he said, you know, this belongs in your collection. I said, well, thank you. Appreciate that. And then I've got from Bob Camp, who is the creator, co-creator of Ren and Stimpy. I got that. Oh, nice. Very nice. He said, you filthy, you filthy swine <laughs> over the top. So that's that's one of my cherished prize possessions there because Ren and Stimpy was a big part of my, my growing up. Mm. Then I've got one from Frank Cho, who's an artist. Mm -hmm. Spidey. Oh, very nice. Frank Cho is more known for doing his female characters. He has mm -hmm. a certain way of doing characters, very voluptuous and stuff like that. And um, I really well, enjoy his art. I, I got to really say that Spider-Man's very cat. sexy. What? <laughs> that Spider-Man is very sexy. It is. So I was going to get a black cat, but then I said, no, I got to I got to go with the Spidey on the uh, on the billboard. Mm, yeah. So, very nice. And then there's an artist by the name of John Jiang. Okay. And John Jiang has he's he's been in the background. So uh have I got a log? I don't have a log, Peggy, but uh, Gary, I might have to print a log. That's a good idea. I want to put that in my intro. Yes, I'm gonna put the log in my intro. I actually had a bunch of Ren and Stimpy clips in my intro, and I had happy, happy joy, joy clip of that. I had uh the walrus saying, Call the police. Um <laughs> So I had all that in my, but then my intro became like two and a half minutes long. And I was like, I'm trying to keep it under a minute. It's not an intro, it's a short film. Yeah, so it, was, it became a short film. So I, I really started cutting it down. So it was, what, what you should it was do is, uh, I cut it down to 45 seconds. So you should, you but, should so split the extra up into an John outro. Yang, and he's, he's actually done a lot of work um, in, behind the scenes, right? And in, in um, storyboarding and stuff like that. He his one of his most famous stuff is he helped create the um the kaijus in 
Pacific Rim. Oh. So he's got this really, really crazy, sick, um, like, uh, design. This, If you look up John Giang, G-I-A-N-G, he does some crazy shit. So this is, he had this deal, like, buy three for a, for a deal. So there's a carnage that he did. That's awesome. And that is just amazing. As big as heavy as wood. So I got this carnage. And then I was going to get, then I got the Spidey. Oh. So I got that Spidey. And then I ended up getting the Venom because, again, and he explained how he how he was. So in this Venom, he explained how he drew the Venom uh, throwing up, like, the symbiote. And, like, the story behind his art and the way he thought about everything was just amazing. G-I-A-N-G? Yeah. Oh, it popped up with a Darth Vader and an Optimus yes. Prime. Yes, he does amazing, amazing work. Oh, I see. I, I see the uh, the carnage here. Look oh. up Hal Haney on IG and Etsy. He's got some amazing art. I'm gonna post this up here so that way when I rewatch the stream tomorrow, I'm gonna look this up because oh. I always end up watching. I'll put it on during the day and I'll just I'll listen to my stupid stream. I don't know why I listen to it again, but I like to go through and and see things that I might have missed or whatever. So. Um, yeah, look him up, Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, what a, what uh, put that artists... carnage on the roof. Flag the <laughs> shit out of you. It was scared. It scared me. So, and this one, I'm sure you recognize. Oh, it's upside down. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I have not seen that one. Yeah. Jude has not included that in our in our log. I have oh. some other Spider-Man stuff that he has. I think. So I saw. I met Jude. Uh, back in March when I first did the Tom's River show. Okay. And he's always at the Tom's River show. And we just started chatting. And um, and so I was like, well, you know, I spent all this time at your table, so I have to I have to buy something now. I was like, you have any Spidey? And he's like, yeah, I do. So this is actually yeah. labeled 2019. Did you see this one? That's one of Jude's. Oh, is it? I didn't see that. Yeah. Well, I'll have to buy that from him next. Um, Maybe I'll get that as an aluminum print. Yeah. Let me know. Um, uh, let me put these back very gingerly back into this plastic slip sleeve. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so I've got this art. Plus, I want to get it, like, I, I want to get framed. You know, I want to protect it. Have you seen it's this signed. one? They're all signed by the artists. And then I got some comic books signed by some comic book artists that I like, uh, Humberto Ramos and uh, uh, who else? Uh, Greg Capullo. And uh, I wanted to get Frank Miller, but he was by appointment only. Yeah. Me, I can only afford art from the starving oh, hey, Gary. artists. I got her for you, buddy. She's in my possession, Gary, so... When uh when you're ready, we'll get you some signs and get you your stealth carter. All have right. you back to business, guys? I don't have much more time. I think I got another 20 minutes or so. I'm gonna wrap it up here. So let's get back to the painting of the signs. Where'd you go, Ducky? I'm here. I'm I'm actually grabbing some of my art. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, I got a whole <laughs> oh nice um Julio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you ever run into Ben Harvey? I have not. Um, fantastic artist. Um, let's see. Did this one? Oh, wow. Um, let's, let's pull those up big so we can see them better. Got some big old Ninja Turtle panels. Oh, that's beautiful. It's a little blurry. Same, Sorry, guy, folks. same guy did those? Yeah. Yeah. And, nice. and this one. It was a three panel. Oh, sweet. That guy, John Jiang, has some Ninja Turtles and Shredder art. Unbelievable. Okay. Uh, this is like a chibi Ninja Turtles that Ben Harvey did. Oh, that's awesome. 
He Who also did, did Black Cat. And he did this one too. This oh, is Ben a, Harvey. Is that Black Cat and Chun Li? Yeah. What a weird combination. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks so good. It does look good, but that's it messed up my brain because I was like, no, that's Black Cat, but no, it can't be because that's Chun Li. Yeah. Oh, wait, are they together? Like, what's happening here? Um, then there's uh Sean. I can't I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Alini. Alini. Okay um fantastic artist actually we i got to get in contact with him because he wanted to do some wood prints with us he did this one. Oh, sweet um he also did i think yeah he did this this captain america as well oh you see that so let's see that captain america up close highlight that because peggy dad is the big cap fan i'll bring it it's in really nice it's it's so hard because it's like I'm like half reversed. I'm like, oh, uh, oh that looks great. Um, Sam Ross, I'm gonna check that out. Thank you. Um, my only, the only original art piece I own is Ben Harvey, and it's a Hellboy sketch. Oh wow! I bought so much art from him that he gave me a it's huge safety, deal. That's awesome yeah he was like That's dude cool. he's like dude you buy so much art from me he's like <laughs> let let me hook you up with this one and i, I think it. i think he gave that to me for like 35 bucks and it was the wow. original that's amazing um there's a company called 13th floor okay and they do some really cool art prints um these are like photoshop type stuff but they're Star Wars in World War II. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, That's cool. That way. And they also have some that are like Star Wars samurai and stuff like that. Yes. I've, well, I've seen the figures. There, there are, there's a whole line of figures, samurai Star Wars figures. Um, which one? There's one that like... This one would me this one made me laugh. It's like a Mickey Mouse float, and then you got stormtroopers oh, pulling that's it. That's funny. They're holding them up. <laughs> yep. They should do that at uh, Macy's Day Parade. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. So just a lot of neat stuff. And then I have a few other things floating around, but that's my my main one. Um, and then I've got for the life of me, I can't remember who the artist is for this one. Um, it's a really beautiful Ninja Turtles. Oh, wow. That's really and then cool. on the back side, I have it in color. No, it's a color version. That's cool. <laughs> That's and really I've got neat. a signature, but I can't, I can't remember which artist it was. That's really neat. But yeah, I have a, I definitely have an art addiction because yeah, like my walls are full. You saw my my portfolio. I have an entire trunk filled with posters ranging from like nine by uh, weird sizes, nine by like eighteen, all the way up to three by five. Oh wow! And there's like seventy posters in there. That's awesome. Um, but I get some cool stuff out. Oh, this one it hangs over my computer and it's flares because it's a canvas Superman. Oh wow, that's on canvas. Nice. Yeah. Uh I got this. Have you ever been to Ollie's? Yeah, I know Ollie's. I got it at Ollie's for like eight bucks. Really? I was like, huh, mine. Wow. <laughs> I was like, You're I like, right up. I've got a lot of like hobby lobby pieces, you know? Yeah, yeah. I do some of that too. Like I've got those, like the frames and stuff like that. I've got those little things. I like those. Yeah. Um I think I've got a it's a metallic iron man canvas uh i think this might have been a hobby lobby piece that but, looks like it would be yeah but it's it's actually it's actual canvas so it doesn't look quite so uh out of place You're right and i was like metallic canvas i was like i need it yeah that's cool but so it's new what are you doing this year with crimson ducky what's going on with uh with the shop you got new items new things you guys are working on um, 
So the metal prints are new. Uh, they we didn't have those. If I give, saw I'm you. sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. If I give you an image, can you put it on a glass? Yeah. Well, to a certain extent, um, depends on exactly what you want. So if you want something etched, there are yeah. a few limitations. Okay. If you want, so uh, right here, we do sublimation. Oh yeah, no, I want etched. I would want it etched. Um, what is it? Uh, do you have? No, I'll, I'll get to you offline. It's going to be a surprise for somebody. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, there are certain limitations, but we can get pretty fancy with it. Um, I don't need fancy. It's literally, it's a, it's a very, very simple design. Okay, yeah, I can definitely do that. Um, okay. You have a couple of options as far as vessels. We can do a beer mug, about that big. Uh-huh. Um, pint glass. Standard okay. pipe glass. Um, hold on, let me show you the. I call it the skull crusher. Uh, it's a one liter mug. Briscoe, I have not seen this. Oh, I might have seen the samurai turtles figures. I have to look them up. I'm gonna post. I'm tagging that right there because I want to look them up. I don't want to miss it. That's why I love this YouTube platform because I can actually go back and read the chat and see things I might have missed that like I definitely would have overlooked this in in Instagram. I'll look at that too uh Ryan. What's the uh skull crusher? Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think I think just the regular handled mug. Okay. Um like ooh, there's also where is it? Uh a daintier handled mug. So let me hold them up next to each other. Regular handled mug. Mm -hmm dainty the regular one does that have the flat thumb on it yeah yeah that's the one i like that yeah this one this one has like a a crook oh i see thumb. It. yeah no i like the regular one okay i um yeah i definitely want uh, there's one thing i want to do as a gift and i think i might want you to do a couple for me um like maybe with a spider-man or something on or or even my logo i think would look cool yeah we can know? do that we can work it out yeah, definitely, definitely want to get into that with you. That's cool. Um, for whatever stuff you want, do you want it what we call right-handed or left-handed? So I'm currently holding this in my right hand. Do you want the logo facing out I want, to people? I want the one I'm going to gonna make you is for a left-handed person. Okay. So I want it I want it to be so when, they, when they're drinking, they'll be facing out, I guess, right? That's yeah, yeah, that's left-handed. So yeah. it's left-handed. If they're holding it in their left hand, the logo's out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to ask because I default to left-handed for some reason, even though okay. I'm right-handed. Because I'm always like, well, I'm the person holding my my mug. I want to see the logo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But so see, yeah, like, I'm, the, I'm the type that says, okay, the, the logo should be pointing outward from the person drinking so everyone else can see it while you're drinking. Yeah, so like right? this is my Zelda mug, and it's it's optical illusion, but it's actually – so this is my right hand, and the logo actually faces me. Yeah, and I I just did it subconsciously. You only see it when it's empty, right? No, no, you can see it when there's when there's stuff in it. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Okay. No, I mean um, on the other side. Uh yeah yeah. That's what yeah. I mean. Like it's an optical illusion. It looks like it's on the front, but that's because it's empty. Yeah yeah absolutely yeah. Yeah. That's great. Um, yeah we even we this is this is one of my screw ups, but we did we did mugs for the nerd mall. Oh, that's cool. And those ones we did, we did front and center to give it the biggest possible logo right. because these have a, a bounding box Oh, okay. that you have to, so like we had to actually like fill this in with, with the ink on the print uh -huh. and then it gets sublimated onto a white panel. Oh, okay. Um, so this is a screw up because I didn't position it right. And yeah. her, her. um, but I mean, they came out looking good, but it, it, yeah, it allowed us really to get nice. the biggest, the biggest print. That's cool. Yeah, on a on a coffee mug, I would say front and center, always on a coffee mug. The opposite side of the handle is kind of like the traditional where you'd put mm -hmm. a logo, right? Um either that or you gen generally they'll uh unless they'll you're putting some right kind of snarky saying like don't bother me till this cup is empty. <laughs> yeah, well, like for my mom, I did this for Christmas and I did a full wrap around. Mm-hmm. Manny, let's um, talk. 
I only collect the I only collect the movie turtles. So, and I need Donnie and Donnie and Leo. I have them loose, but I want the two pack if you have it. Anyway, we'll talk. You should um, you should check out the Nerd Mall because they have a whole Ninja Turtle NECA stuff. Where is it? It's uh, the Nerd Mall in uh, Woodbury. I have to get out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if if nothing else, you know, I I go there to refill, so I can if I know exactly what I'm looking for, I can tell you if it's there. Yeah, that's cool. I appreciate it. Yeah, I didn't know they had a, you know, like a dedicated area or anything like that. That's cool. um, they just have a whole they they got a whole toy section. You'd probably be in a little bit of a. I'd probably love it, yeah. and I'd probably be in a lot of trouble if I went there. Probably. Um, they get a lot of stuff on trade. They get a lot of old stuff too, like old Star now, Wars. Is and... that where would that be in relation? Um, like, is that South Jersey or is it just West, yeah. like Philly, or it's South Jersey? We're east of Philadelphia. Like, it on a good day from a certain spot, you can see Philadelphia from like a block right. away from the Nerd Mall. Okay, so do you know you know where they hold Zolocon at the Fuge? No. Okay. So Zolocon's held at a place called the Fuge, which used to be an old astronaut training facility, centrifuge training facility. Oh. And it's That's Warminster cool. PA, but it's a huge, huge venue. Oh. And um, it's actually just outside of Philadelphia. In fact, my hotel that I'm staying at is in Philadelphia. It's in North Philadelphia. Okay. So I was just thinking I have to go out there on Friday to set up and it's a weekend show. So that's why I'm getting a room instead of going out there. Uh, and say, you know, doing the trip three days in a row. Yeah. Um, so I have to set up on Friday, but then I'm not going to have anything to do. So I was thinking maybe I'll just, I can check out where this uh, nerd mall is. Um, I would say it's. Do me a favor. Send me that. Send me that in a chat too. So I don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll, um, I'll, I'll remember when I read this, uh, when I rewatch this, but I'm uh, definitely interested because I'm also going to have my best friend with me. And he's into all the same stuff as me and then some. Okay. So, uh, you know, he's coming with me to ZoloCon to, he says, I, I, I take him with me to help at the table, but he's really just there to shop. <laughs> he's already That's told cool. me he's say he's already saved so far. He's, he's saved $500 from his, uh, Christmas bonus that he's put away in a box, uh, <laughs> for ZoloCon in March. Nice. So. But, uh, dude, you would probably do really well as Olocon. It's or or even like Retrocon. Did you do Retrocon at all? Um, I don't. Th well, I haven't, but I don't think we're able to because I don't think because we don't have a business license yet. You don't need one. You don't need it for that one. No. I know there was something. That, there was something in. Uh, so one of the bigger ones that we wanted to do, but we couldn't because we don't have papers. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, see, I don't. No one's asked me for them. Um, I didn't do RetroCon though, so I don't know if that's the one. Um, but ZoloCon definitely is not. Okay. So and ZoloCon, if you look it up, um, it's it's huge. It's it's three levels of uh, of stuff. Of uh, like, there's three different levels, and each level has a different vendor price. You know. Okay. And I got in on an early bird, so I basically paid uh for level two to get on the main level okay but from what i understand you don't want to sell for on the third level you don't want to go up on the third level because no one like goes up there okay. you know yeah i mean we'd probably be good on like second level and just need you know an ass yeah. out of tables <laughs> yeah first level right now i think if you i don't i think tables sold out now but um the longer you wait, you know, full price, I think, was like 320 for the table for the weekend. Okay. And I got in at 260. Okay. So uh, it was two. It was two. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's 280. It was uh, 240 for the second level. And then it was 280 for the main floor. And I was like, well, for 40 bucks more, like that's $20 a day. That's one of my signs, you know? I said and if I sell one three extra day show? sign a day, I've made up my 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 extra money for going on the main floor. Yeah, you know. So that that's what that's three days you said. It's well, it's Saturday two, and two Sunday, and March fifth and March sixth. Okay. Um, but 
as a vendor, you cannot set up the day of. You have uh, to set up Friday. Okay. So, um. So yeah, I mean, that's one we'll o'clock. have to look into for next year, obviously. Uh, yeah, the Zolocons once a year. Last year it was in June, and this year it's in March for some reason. So okay. Um. So wait, that the the show that you're you're doing where you want to go to the Nerd Mall is this? Or yes. The one? It's yeah, so one. I'm going to Zolocon March 5th and 6th, but I'm going there that Friday to set up. Okay. And I was like, oh, maybe, you know, if it's not too far, I'm going to look it up and see how far it is from. Yeah, let me see where I'll actually look up where the vendor is and or where the show is and then see how far it is. Yeah, you can actually Google the Fuge, F U G E. Uh, let's check up on the chat real quick, Briscoe. That's some of my TMNTs. I'll have to look into them. Manny. Manny, are your NECA TMNTs opened or sealed? Ah, uh, sealed. Can't talk. Okay, so that's about an hour from me, but probably 40 minutes or so from the Nerd Mall. Okay. Let me, I'm going to put it in the Nerd Mall's location. Hey, I want to look up this. I want to check out this nerd mall. Uh, according to this, 50 minutes. 50? Five an hour? Zero, All right. Five, five zero minutes. Yeah, yeah, about an hour. What are their hours? Do you know? Um, uh, They close kind of early. Uh, What was it? I should know this by heart because I'm there all the time. <laughs> And they actually, they just opened a second location in uh, Pensgrove, uh, so even further south. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, they're expanding. Is it uh, a big Is it a big place? Um, not super huge, but they have so much. Yeah. Um, where the hell are the hours? Come on. So uh, there's the... Um... 11 to 6 every day. Okay, that's not terrible. I'm wondering, do you know where, um, God, what the hell is the name of that shop, that toy shop out there? And um, it's almost in Mount Laurel. Um, not play with this toys, because that's the one that we went to in Merchantville, yeah, that, right? Yeah, that was Merchantville. Um, what the hell is that place out in, in Mount Laurel? Um, shit, can't think of it now. It's a huge, huge toy store, though. Uh, let's see, Mount Laurel Toy Store. I'll know when I hear it. Uh, Kaz Creates. No, nope. that's Morristown, Morristown, KD's Toys. No, not KD. Model Monster Dolls and more. Fred Toy, Happy Hippo Toy. No, not Happy Hippo. Tactics to Toys LLC. It's gonna come to me just as about you're about to say it. Um, this is a, it's not giving me a great location. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna find it. Well, I'm actually my phone's about to die again because it's actually. Um, it's drawing more power to use the camera than it's um, <laughs> recharging at the same time because it's mm -hmm. a shitty, shitty charging cable. Gotcha. I'm going to remove this and bring this back. And Turtles. Use my phone here. You probably see. would have been done like 40 minutes ago, but I've been bullshitting so much. <laughs> oh, with my uh, my signs and stuff? Yeah. No, I, have, <laughs> I have so much more to, to, to paint. <laughs> How do I leave this? I don't want to end my chat. Um, let me see if this will work. Close all. Oh, I think that worked. Okay. Um, not play with this toys. Hold on. I'm going to find it now. Busby toys. No. My phone. I'm getting all these like big name places like TJ Maxx and crap. I don't... Yeah. 
What? Bed Bath and Beyond? Why? Uh, here we go. Mr. Toys. Tildy's Toy Box. Wonder World Toy Store and Baby Boutique. House of Fun. House of Fun. You ever been out there? I do not. I guess not if you don't know the name of it. Well, I, I go a lot of places I don't remember, but house, house, let me... the House of Fun is you walk in and it looks like just a little, it looks like they have like five shelves of toys. <laughs> and then behind the counter is a door. And you go through this door and it becomes a warehouse. Oh, I see a picture here. Oh my God. And that warehouse has arcade machines and damn near every figure. It's like it's like Disneyland. I can see that. Like the oh wow. That is amazing. Yes. And I don't even collect action figures. <laughs> No, yeah, I could not is. go there because I would want to buy everything. I see, I see some, I see a NECA Michelangelo just boom right there, dead center. I think we lost Manny Casey. It's, we didn't get an answer from him. Yeah, dude, that that place has everything. That is legit. But I'm actually, I'm actually mad right now. Uh, I've got a bunch of crap on my toy box. Yes, I literally still have a toy box. <laughs> That has all my uh, original Star Wars stuff in it because you know, when I was a kid, I took them out and played with them and whatnot. But sure. they're they're sitting there waiting for my niece and nephews to be old enough. <laughs> Five yeah. years old is not old enough to play with my Star Wars stuff because no, it is just not. Break it. <laughs> it is not. My wife made the mistake of giving her Barbies to my daughters who are five and seven, <laughs> and Done she so. she regrets it every day. She tells me. Oh, I wish I never gave it. They ruined them. They, 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 you know, their hair's messed up. I'm like, well, what are you going to do? You weren't going to sell them, you know? She's lucky they're not bald. Yeah. <laughs> I said, you know, you're not, you weren't, say, we weren't keeping them to sell them or anything like that. You know, it's not, it's not, it wasn't an investment for money. Um, <laughs> End up so, looking you know, like the, the Barbie from them. Toy Story. <laughs> yeah. They're like Sid. Yep. Our kids are, our kids are Sid from Toy Story. Definitely. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> brats anyway but yeah that's you know that's you gotta you gotta let the kids respect the toys especially star wars toys my cousin did the same thing he has all the old wrestling figures okay and his kids are four and and two and uh or no i'm sorry they're six and four i don't know they're close they're two years apart five and three something like that mm -hmm. and um he took out all his old wrestling toys and they play with them but the kids are so rough. The boys are so rough with them. They ripped off their arms and legs and hands and stuff like that. So, you know, and I was like, man, all my figures are just destroyed. But he's like, you know what? Their boys are going to play with them. They're just a little too rough. Yeah. Ours, I, I got to say, my niece and nephews are really good about not destroying toys too much. That's good. Um, Their dad's pretty strict, but like not to the point where it's like scary, but they they learned. And they know. Um, so actually for his third birthday, I got my one nephew. Um, his his nickname is, he's, he's got a couple of nicknames, but I call him either Gooey or Goo mm -hmm. or, or Chewy. And he got, he became Goo because I called him Chewy when he was an infant. And he couldn't say it. He was, he was, he, he had a hairy back. Uh -huh. He was furry. Okay. The kid had hair. He, he, he was born with a full full head of hair. That's and great. so I called him Chewbacca. Plus, I had a picture of him yawning that looked like Chewy roaring. <laughs> um, but then he had this habit of sticking his whole hand in his mouth and then slapping me in the face with just a slobbery oh, yeah. hand. So he became gooey. So That's he's gooey fun. chewy. Yeah. Um, but so <laughs> I get him all sorts of Chewbacca stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so at one point I got him, I, it, he loves it. It's here. Uh, have, have you seen the squish mellows? Yes. Yes. So he's got a Chewbacca squish mellow and he gets upset if his sister mistreats his squish mellow. Mm -hmm. Then at, uh, for his birthday, I got him, uh, 
what is it called? It, it's it's like my favorite co-pilot or something. It was an actual animatronic Chewbacca. That, oh yeah, I've seen that. Um, and I got that for him. Um, That's for great. for his birthday. And at first, it scared him a little. Mm-hmm. And then he got used to it. Now he loves his little his Chewbacca buddy. Yeah. Um, I actually got lucky. I found it on uh, Mercari yep. for. $35 in box. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Cause when that thing came out, it was like a hundred dollars. Yeah. And it's only gotten worse because it's super rare. Yeah. Um, the, the, the problem was the box had a little bit of damage to it. Yeah. Who cares? You're opening it. Yeah. I was like, it's for a kid. And I was able to clean up the damage because it was some sort of sticky substance spilled on it, but it was a laminated box. Oh yeah. So, you know, just a little bit of light, alcohol action and yep. i was good to go that's great it didn't even haze it <laughs> <laughs> so i was nice. like all right it's awesome gooey uh, chewy sounds like a garbage pail kid waiting to happen uh definitely that's a good idea man there's a guy actually who does that there's a guy i follow i met him at um where did i meet him I'm trying to think now i met a guy who does his own version of Garbage Pail Kids, but does them with other characters? Um, and I feel like I feel like it was Star Wars. Um, I think I've seen that. That sounds very familiar. I, I I can picture like a Cabbage Patch Kid head with Han Solo's like hair and stuff. God, what's that guy's name now? Hold on, I gotta find him. Sounds very he familiar. Is... Oh shit. Um I don't think I'll ever find him. Uh, yeah, I forgot. That's what a little obscure. <laughs> what? It's a little obscure to be tracking down like that. Yeah, I don't I don't know what he calls himself. He's um not GBK. Should have gone flashy like Crimson Ducky. <laughs> yeah, I know that's easy to remember. His is um hold on. Following Does it start with garbage? Let me see. Um, John Giang Art. No. Greg Capullo, Gun Show. Come on. What's this guy's name? All right. Well, I'm going to find it. When I find it, I'm going to feature it because he, I think, I thought it was Star Wars that he does. Oh, no. Never mind. Yes. Garbage Shoot Droids. <laughs> Okay, garbage shoot droids, guys. That's crazy. Victor Moreno, no. Manny, uh, we had a question before. Now you're here. Are your TMNTs sealed or opened? So it looks like he just does droids, but they're oh, all man. garbage shoot droids. So <laughs> Jack. That's funny. Right. And... Uh, Let's see. What else did he have? What is he doing? Like collector cards? Yeah. Okay, cool. And he's got some coins, it looks like. He had coins made. Oh, nice. Here, he's got... Oh, wait. Come on. I gotta find... Does he have a site? Hold on. Garbage Shoot Droids. Garbage Shoot Droids.com. Here we go. Let's check him out. Pulled, pulled up on my garbage shoot droids.com. So he might not do a Chewbacca because I think his stick is is uh is droids. But he doesn't he only shows he only sells packs. I don't see any any full sized um pictures. I'd like to see some full sized pictures of his stuff. But all right, whatever. So turtles are done. I think we'll save the rest for next week because it is almost 11 o'clock. And I have work tomorrow. My wife and kids are home for a four-day weekend. But I have to work. Fun, fun. Yeah, man. Um, my last so, thing, I just found this when I was looking around. 
as a toy That's collector, fine. I think it'll make you proud. Ooh. Hold on, let's Sti make that big so we can see it. Still in the box. Yeah, that's nice. Set so. Star Scout. I bet you that's pretty pricey. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's been opened. It looks like it's been opened, but mm -hmm. the box is still that's in cool. good shape. So I know. But this was this was the last action figure thing I actually purchased for myself. I, I think I bought this about a year ago. Awesome. <laughs> Ryan, thanks for hanging out, brother. I appreciate you always. Thanks for hanging out. Get in touch with me. Uh, to go over your custom, bro. I'm here for it. Yeah, it was great talking. I don't know what Bum Ong is, but that's the second time this guy has said it. <laughs> uh, well, guy, his, his username's in Cyrillic. It's like Russian or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. Um, mm -hmm. But no, it's been great hanging out, and uh, I definitely want to do this again. Yeah, definitely. I do this. I'm here every Thursday. This is my thing now. I'm I'm trying to be here every Thursday uh, to do, uh, you know, paint and chat and hang out with people. So, you know, do uh, do some painting because I got to paint anyway, right? Yeah. So I might as well do it with some company. So thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you oh, for absolutely you know, showing off your cool stuff. See, here, here's the thing. Like <laughs> me, like what well, I... I spend all my time either making stuff or just chilling in in my basement because everybody else I know has to go to a regular day job. Yeah. Me, um, you know, I'm I'm disabled, so I'm okay. stuck at home. Like that's how I started this business. Oh, all right. Um, because I needed something to do. Right. So having human contact, you know, verbal yeah. human contact, it's it's something I enjoy. So I will yeah, certainly man. join you again for other chats. This is this has been a lot of fun. Thank you, dude. I and thanks again for hanging out. I appreciate you, man. It's 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 nice to see what people are into, especially again other creators. You know, if I can get other people to come check out your stuff, yeah, um, I appreciate you know, it. Your stuff needs to be seen. So I hope you've got a couple new followers and maybe some new customers coming your way. That'd be awesome. And uh, just keep up the good work, brother. And I'll catch you on another time. Yeah, absolutely. Um, also, don't forget to DM me about your custom yes. oh, no, glasses I'm DM you. That, so. I'm going to DM you uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning about yeah. uh, what I need done for you. Yeah, let me know. I mean, turnaround on stuff is pretty quick. Um, I did uh, I did uh, custom pint glasses for an axe throwing place. Um, oh, wow. And I did, the turnaround uh, was like 12 hours. Wow, not bad. <laughs> and, but I, my brother's like, don't deliver them. He's like, he's like, you did these in twelve hours from the time he ordered them. Give it three <laughs> days, <laughs> right? He's like, that way in the future you don't have to deliver it within twelve hours. It's like, good, good point. Yeah, you good don't point. set the precedent. That's what I say. The same thing. <laughs> I could, if I wanted to, turn around these signs in a couple days. Um, but even if I'm not busy, you know. But if I am busy, you know, I usually still can do it in a couple days. Yeah, but. Who if I do stress? that, then everyone's going to want them in a couple days. So I always say my standard is 10 to 14 days. Yeah. You know, that gives me time, you know, so I can build up an inventory and do a whole bunch at the same time because, you know, I have to fill these syringes. It's oil paints. It's messy. It's it's cumbersome. And if I can do a whole bunch at once, um, that's preferable rather than doing, you know, just one or two signs for a oh, customer. Yeah. So I try to let them pile up and I'll do them all one day. In this case, my days now are Thursdays. So if somebody orders something, I'll get it done, painted on that Thursday in bulk with everything else. And yeah. then I can deliver it in the next couple of days and still meet that 10 day time. Uh, yeah. time Bat Batching is the only way to fly because otherwise you kill yourself. Yep, exactly. So but here's I'm... another cool thing I, I built. I'm always knocking over these <laughs> little tester paints. Gotcha. I've knocked two of them over onto my onto my table, and what a mess! So I said I'm going to make a little, just a little uh, tripod stand, a little pyramid stand. Okay. Flat base sits right in there. Nice. Now I, I I couldn't tip it if I wanted to. There you go. All right. Useful things. So. Take that, you little bastard. Right. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to yeah. just clean up here. And, um, you know, like can't I said, we'll do it again sometime soon. Can't believe it's been almost three hours. <laughs> yeah. That's my, my, I usually go about three. I started, I start at eight and I try to be done by 
11 latest by midnight so gotcha but, all right well all right, i will i will catch you later i will try and remember that it is thursdays thursdays at eight o'clock eight o'clock yeah man and I might I I'm, I might be busy tomorrow, but Rocco said tomorrow to pop in possibly. Rocco goes, six. yeah, he goes at six o'clock. He just means to come in and chat and hang out. Yeah. He doesn't usually, you know, he's got his like three guys that he goes okay. online with. Yeah, well, no, he told me to to pop in, so yeah. Right. <laughs> but so, yeah, man. So he's he's tomorrow six o'clock. He uh, you know, he's got his you know guys. He's got one guy that talks about action figures and one guy that talks about movies. That's cool. So they're, I'm, they're I'm really definitely cool more of a gang. movies guy myself. And on Fridays, Fridays they get a little spicy. So okay. you know they 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 get a little bit off the cuff. Talk. Mondays are usually more tame. They do it Mondays and Fridays. Okay. Mondays are a little more tame, but Fridays is like end of the week and they're all just like hanging out and bullshitting. So it's That's a good cool. time. Yeah, I'll have to check them out. So yeah, man. All right, man. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging yeah. out. Yeah. Thanks for everybody in the chat. You know, it was a nice chatting with all you guys. You know, I hope to see you again. And uh I'm gonna get on out of here. All right, Take it easy. Out, buddy. Bye. That was fun. That was cool. So I'm gonna just do one of these paintings real quick. I just want to paint one of these real quick because I'll see how it comes out. So this is gonna be a finished product. I'm going to paint it and I'm going to seal it. So if you guys are familiar with the never ending story, this is the Orin amulet worn by Atreyu. Just got a little cleanup here. Who's still in the chat, guys? Sound off real quick for me. Let me know you're still here. I can't see who's in the chat on, um, on uh, YouTube. So give me a quick sound off. There's only about five of you here, so let me know you're hanging out with me so we can chat. Like, look, you can't even see, you can't see anything. What's up, Briscoe, Gary, Sam Rock, Alex? All right, that's four. So look at this. You can't even really see the detail on this. But then as soon as I apply the paint, See how that looks. No, I don't know if you can see it. it's it's a little out of focus. Let me uh you can see the scale start to show up. I did a little too much paint anyway. I gotta spread it out a little bit more. Everybody here, is everybody here familiar with the never ending story? Have you all seen it? Let me get this to focus. Focus. Right. Well, you've seen the pictures. I'll have to do for now. Long time ago, never heard of the Nevering story. It's a movie, Sam Rock. Briscoe loves it. Yeah, man. So, Sam Rock, it is. You're also the same guy who's watched Ghostbusters a million times, but has never seen Gremlins. Have you watched Gremlins yet, Sam Rock? That was your homework assignment. So, The Never Ending Story is a fantasy movie from the 80s. And it's a uh, it's a childhood favorite of many, and it's 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 a very fantastic um, the fantasy not yet always in the mood to watch a movie. I got you. Um, it's a very uh, whimsical. Uh, there's a lot going on in the movie and never ending story, uh, but if you watch it as an adult 
I think you lose you you, it's, you get a different experience if you watch it as a child and loved it as a child, and then you watch it as an adult. It changes you. It changes your perspective on the movie. So as a child watching the movie, it's very whimsical, very magical. Um, it seems like an a, a, a amazing adventure of a child reading a book uh, and using like his imagination. The book kind of comes alive. Uh, he's sucked into this world, right? But watching it as an adult, you realize that the whole story is about losing your innocence of, of being a child, losing the imagination and innocence of childhood and growing up and losing your creativity, your imagination, the things that were fun as a child, and now you're just an adult. Um, it's and it's kind of sad, honestly. It it made me made me sad watching it again. This goes loops. This goes how does this go? Loop, loop, loop. This thing always screws me up because I don't want to overpaint on a section. I know that didn't sound right, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean, Briscoe. Back when kids in movies had balls, yeah. It is like Labyrinth a bit, uh, Gary. Labyrinth I love, but Labyrinth doesn't really have a deeper meaning. Labyrinth is just a, a, a fun adventure type movie. It doesn't doesn't have that deeper uh, that deeper meaning like the never ending story, that background uh, thing going on that if you're an adult, you pick up on it. Labyrinth is one of my all-time favorite movies as well. I've always, always loved Labyrinth. Fun story. Um, I had a friend. Still has, She's still a friend. Her mother is a sculptor and personally friends with Brian Froud, who was the designer of all the goblins uh for the labyrinth and he does a lot of goblin work he did a lot of stuff with jim henson and worked on a lot of projects together and uh as for a birthday present one year she got me this book called good goblins bad goblins and the whole book and it's by brian froud the whole book is good goblins one way. And then when you flip the book upside down, those same images are now bad goblins. Very, very cool book. And uh, it was personalized. It was, he got, she had it signed by Brian Froud for me. And then um, somewhere down the line, a girlfriend asked, not even a girlfriend, girl I was seeing at the time, asked to borrow that book. And I said, sure. And then we kind of stopped talking, and I never got the book back. And it's always bothered me. And I reached out to her a couple of times. I was like, do you still have my book? She's like, can I just like buy you a new one and have it shipped to your house? I guess she lost it or something. Um, but that really hurt me because that one was signed by Brian Froud. Green Goblins. Dark Crystal's good. Dark Crystal's a good movie. Uh, fantasy part of it. Yes, the fantasy part of it is like Labyrinth. Uh, the never-ending story, the one with furry-looking dragon creature. Yes, that is Falcor, the luck dragon. Oh, did I paint the wrong spot? This comes under. This gets silver. No, this gets silver. God damn, this thing is tricky. This was right. I just want you all to see and appreciate the work that goes into painting these. So when somebody says, why are they $25? I can come back to this video and show them. You guys see that clip. It costs that much because it takes me effing hours. That's me. 
And I've always wanted to use that clip, but it's so played out now. got a beautiful shine to it though huh what a difference never land things out yep i know briscoe i know you know how many hoodies i've lost over the years hoodies sweat jackets sweatpants like fleece nice fleece sets i don't even like Letting my neighbor use my chainsaw. And then use it one time. And then he comes back and he's like, it's not working right. I was like, well, it was working the last time I put it away. But in his defense, it actually, there was a problem. The, um, the fuel filter in the fuel tank had uh, broken off a little piece of fuel filter. All right. Keep going with this. Comes around and the tail is here. All right, this comes underneath. Yep. Tell you, this thing is all knotty and twisted and it really screws up your eyes. So let's see, we've got The Neverending Story, The Dark Crystal. Those are great movies. Labyrinth, right? Um, Legend. Legend is also another really, really good fantasy movie. Um, the Princess Bride. Oh, that's definitely an all-time favorite. We should do a bracket of movies like... You know, Legend, Princess Bride, the fantasy movies, right? I think Princess Bride has got to be one of my all-time, all-time favorite movies. Dragon Slayer. Oh, yes. Dragon Slayer. I remember that now. That's the game, right? There's a movie. Isn't there a movie, Dragon Slayer, though? Hold on. I feel like there was a movie called Dragon Slayer. I lost. So this is how shitty kids are. I was eight years old. And my friend down the street lent me Blades of Glory. Blades of Steel. Blades of Steel. Blades of Glory. Blades of Steel for NES. It was the first hockey game to feature blood in it. Little known fact there. And uh, he, um, he let me the game, right? Then I had a bunch of like kids over the house, like friends. Not I, I don't even know if they I'd consider them friends, but kids from the neighborhood came to my house and were hanging out. One of those kids stole that game from me. And... So when I had to give it back to my friend, I didn't have it anymore, and I had to buy him another copy of it. And it was not a good time. As an eight-year-old, that's, like, devastating, you know? You lost your friend's game, and then you come to realize and find out that it was one of the shithead kids that came over the house. Get in there, paint. There's a silver. Every name you just named, I've not seen. Uh, that's understandable, Sam. It's a it's a generational thing. I uh, Sam, you're what? You're in your early twenties. I want to say. I don't know. Actually, I don't know how old you are, Sam, because um, you've requested some very odd signs from me. You like Batman Beyond, so it means you were definitely a kid in the 90s. I feel like you were a kid in the 90s. Or was that early 2000s, Batman Beyond? 
Looney Tunes. You like Looney Tunes. So you definitely have some um, some knowledge of older things. You were born in 2000. Okay. Now, see, that surprises me, Sam, because so you're 20 years older than me, so you'll be 21 this year, 22 this year. Um, and that surprises me because, again, you have uh, – an older taste in other things, like I said, like Looney Tunes and stuff like that. Like, you knew the difference between Ralph Wolf and Wile E. Coyote. Not many people know that. So for those uninformed, if you're a fan of the Looney Tunes, and you remember the episodes with the sheepdog and the wolf trying to get to the sheep and they just did that back and forth the whole episode that is not wily e. coyote as ralph wolf and he is called ralph in the in the thing too so it's not like wily e. is just a different name what ralph is another name for wily e. like there are some differences with like the red nose and stuff like that so You missed all the good movies from the 80s and 90s. You definitely did. So you got to catch up, Sam. When you feel like watching movies, when you feel like watching movies, there's a lot of them out there for you. All right. That's going to be it for the silver snake. And I got to get my clip out because... Oh, no, it's not. I'm not done with the silver. These lights are really good for highlighting the paint. It's tricky though, because I do find spots that I miss as I go over them. Like as I look back on, like I go through it and look over, I'm like, oh, missed a whole spot there. Gary, did you go to bed yet? Sometimes I can't tell if. I've painted it because the silver is so shiny, it's reflecting the gray next to it. So it looks like I didn't paint the section, but it actually did paint it. It's just a reflection of the gray. That's crazy. Right here, it's painted. I can tell it's painted. I'm going to go over it again because it doesn't look painted, but it is. All right. Nope. Here now, may as well hold out. Hold out for what? What are you going to hold out? I love my friends Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 2 and 3, and they moved back, moved it to. Oh, no. Oh, is it Sam? Why did I think it was Ralph? Sam. See? Oh, yeah. The, the sheepdog was Sam. Yes. He had me going for a second. Where'd my clip go? All right. So we're going to try clipping on to here this time. How's this going to work? I don't want to clip onto the... That should work. I don't want to clip onto the snake because I did on my sample piece and it scraped the paint off. So I had it clipped. Can't really see here. Right there at the end of the tail. Right there. Scrape the paint off. Now I'll have to paint it again. So I'm going to try to see if this clip will hold off. Man, this little paint holder is the best thing I printed all week, like in a while. Really good. <laughs> oh, until I'm done? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be done as soon as I'm done painting this, this uh, gold. Did I shake this up? These are the paints I was telling you about. Gary testers I 
they come in these little tiny square. It's only point. It's seven mil, seven point four milliliters. All right, let's go. Where's my paintbrush? Sam, I'm gonna paint my new sign because my my filament's not coming till Tuesday. New sign's gonna get painted next week. That's a sign I know you wanted to see. Is that gold? Oof, look at that. It's like liquid gold. Short Circuit's great. Yeah, Short Circuit is a good movie. These paints, Gary, are, very, are widely associated with model making. They're very, they're they're very popular in um, model painting. They dry very quickly. They have very vibrant colors. They cut. Co they coat very well. They are very. Um, I mean, as you can see, this gold is like literally liquid gold. They're like, I think what you said, you saw Model Masters when you did a search. That's, they're very similar in, in, um, in brand. This is going to be tricky right here. Sam, if you watch any movie, the next time you feel like watching a movie and you want to watch like an 80s movie, I urge you, I implore you to please watch Gremlins. And then if you're so inclined, you can watch Gremlins too. But definitely, definitely you've got to watch Gremlins. And then you'll want to buy all the Gremlins figures. What's the texture like? Um, they they do have very. It's a silky texture. It's almost. Um, it's not watery. It's silky. It's it's a. I mean, I don't know if you can see. It just it coats so well on the first coat. It doesn't even need a second coat. And I've got other colors. I've got white and I've got black. They're all the same. It's not just this metallic. So I'm going to do the head next, and you'll see in one, one swipe of the brush. i got to get in here. can't see. A little goes a long way with these paints. Big Trouble in Little China? Oh, oh no, Big Trouble what? I'm sorry. What's Big Trouble? Okay, so here's the head. All right, we're gonna stay right like this. Critters. I actually started watching Critters yesterday. Here, here's the paint. So this one brush stroke, I can get all the way down. And it's just a this is a tiny brush, so this is just what paint was on that one little brush? It's starting to thin out a little bit now, but I got pretty far on it. Yes, Big Trouble in Little China, great movie. I watched that uh, a couple weeks ago, actually.
I watched that. And then I watched The Golden Child. And I just started Critters the other day. Literally, I don't think I made it to the the title. Like I hit play and then I don't know, I got busy doing other things. I hope these amulets are as popular as I'm hoping, as I'm anticipating them to be. I mean, I've already got probably four people on Instagram that are that are interested in them. I just i I feel like I feel like it's going to be one of those things that, like, when people see it at my table, they're going to want it. Started watching Gargoyles on Disney Plus because of your signs <laughs> that are made just so cool. That's awesome, Sam. Yes, John Carpenter, definitely one of the, one of the best. The Snake Emblem Casey is from a movie, an '80s movie called Never Ending Story. It is an amulet that the uh, the main hero of the movie wears around his neck. It's called the Orin. Amulet A U R Y N. It is a childhood rite of passage to watch that movie. I've already had my daughters watch it and they loved it, and then they wanted to watch it a million other times. And I told them, You can't keep watching this movie because it's going to drive me crazy. Getting pretty good um, with my resin printer, too. These, I only had a couple failed prints. And the failed prints were my fault, not the printer's fault. I think tomorrow I'm going to get my new printer in its new home. And I'll post a picture of that. That'll be fun. Is it on Netflix in Canada? Definitely watch it if it's on Netflix. The chief ghost in the fog is called Blake. They attack Antonia Bay on my dad's birthday, so it always makes me laugh. <laughs> That's hilarious. The Fog. John Carpenter's The Fog. I remember that movie. Well, I guess I think you can guess what I'm named after. At least Gary could probably understand could probably guess. I don't know if anybody else here could guess that. It's taking me a really long time to paint this, huh? I gotta make a video of the print I do on it. You mean um, like a video of it printing? Like a time lapse? On my new printer. My stupid stick's getting in my way. I don't even need this stick. Where do I put her? Ah, oh, that's better. <laughs> you watch it? Yeah. I'll um 
I actually am looking into, there's a software, there's a little camera you can get for a 3D printer and a software you can run that will automatically time lapse it every time like the, the printer head goes in like into to a certain spot. So, uh, so you, the printer head's never in the way and uh, it just makes a very clean, um, a clean video. So I'm looking into doing something like that as well, because I think that would be fun to put up on the YouTube channel as well as some time lapses of the prints themselves happening, not just of me painting them. I think I have to mix this up because it's actually starting to not cover as well. That's the thing with the gold. It settles. It seems to settle. I like Precinct 13. That was a good movie. I like the newer version of it. Did you see that new Invisible Man movie? The new one that had just come out, maybe. Oh, yeah. Look, it's so, so different. Once, once you mix it up a little bit. You can tell once it starts to settle. Did anybody see that new Invisible Man movie? It looked creepy. Like it looked, it looked like it would be a good thriller. Now, oh, see, so yeah, much better coverage now. And once this dries tomorrow, I'll go back and I'll clean up any um, any spots that I might have missed or overlapped with the paint. So there's, oh, I see a spot I missed. I don't know if I can get in here from that. That's an underneath spot. There you have it, guys. Nice. Super shiny. What's the movie they live? They live. Oh, they live. Yes, they live is a good movie, Sam. Uh, so that's Rowdy Rowdy Piper. He finds these glasses. In fact, I just watched that the other. Uh, I watched parts of it the other day. He finds these glasses, and the glasses allow him to see um, these. Uh, they're not aliens, right? They're like zombies living in people's bodies or something. And he can only see them with the glasses on. But they're just like every other day, every day other people, like at the bank, or you know, they're just everyday people. But they're. They're like zombie, alien. I don't really remember. I got to watch it again. Gary, I'm going to get you in here one day, too, and show off your collection and your customs. You guys are all welcome. Rock, Sam Rock, you're okay. Any, any of you guys want to hop in and chat for a bit or show anything off that you just got? Whatever, man. I'm here for it. Love hanging out with you guys. Uh, I really like all the theme, all of his themes, Peggy. Uh, they mean eighties and so relevant today. Yeah, they live is a fun movie. Have I always been artistic? Yes, um, Casey. I have. I've always been um, from. I could always remember just drawing. Always drawing. Always. Um, doodling, always um, 
always doing something artistic, creating, building. Always doing something with my hands. It might have to do with me being an only child. Is I always had to find ways to entertain myself. So I was always, you know, I was always drawing or building something. Or you know, my dad at the time, well, my dad was always, he was a contractor at one point. And uh, I would go with him to like job sites and like, I take the scrap wood and make a robot out of the scrap wood. Like I always remember doing that. Um, I was just, I've always been, always been handy. And now that I've got like a 3D printer, it's like I found my calling, right? Like I've always wanted a 3D printer. And, um, and then I got one and now I'm like, this is, I've, I wish I'd gotten one sooner. And not just to sell stuff. Like I never wanted to sell stuff. It was never my intention to sell stuff. Um, just to make stuff. I just want to make things all the time. Always want to make. So yeah, I guess that means that I've always been artistic. I think that's good. I'm going to look it over again tomorrow. I think that's pretty good. I mean, damn, it took me half hour. I in 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 my defense, I would probably go a little bit faster if I wasn't leaning over and trying to keep this on camera the entire time. Yeah, I have a lot of good memories, um, you know, being with my parents. And um, after he was a contractor, my dad and my mom both became truck drivers, right? So they would drive over the road and I would go with them in the summertime when I wasn't at school. And I just remember being in the back of the truck, just drawing. I had a drawing pad. I had a, I had a, a leather, a leather folder that I would keep with me, like a leather portfolio um, pocket pouch. And I would just keep all of my drawing stuff in there and I would just draw on the road and stuff. And yeah, I don't know. I've always, I've always built stuff. I've always drawn and now I can draw in 3d. I can make things come to life. I remember when my, um, when my wife, when I first made 3d printing stuff, I made, um, I'll get it. This is my card holder. Let me, I'm going to put this up to dry. Uh, without breaking it hopefully it stays there stay okay so i made this and this holds my cards at my at my car at my toy shows the bottom jaw All right so at the toy shows i take my take this down put it down like that and then i have a stack of cards that goes like this in the jaw all right and i remember when i made it <laughs> my wife takes it and looks at it she's flipping it around she's looking at it They're just the the puzzle the puzzled look in her eyes just looking at it just saying and then like she looked up at me after looking at this and said you made this I was like, yeah. And she goes, this didn't exist. This this did not exist in this world. And you just made it. And now it exists in this world. And I said, yeah, that's one way of saying it, I guess. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. The coolest thing she said was just like, oh, shit, look at that. I'm melting my, my uh, paintbrush. Anyway, it was just really cool for her to, to look at that and say, wow, you, like this thing didn't exist in this world and now it exists in this world because you made it. I thought that was really cool. Then my high art piece was a Venom self-portrait. I just remembered that I want, used to draw back then. I want to see it, Gary. Find it. It's your homework assignment. I tell everyone it's from my former business partner. I know, like people, people at the shows will pick it up and they'll look at them and be like, Wow, like that's 3D printed. I was like, yeah, it's pretty cool. I made this a while ago. 
I still don't know what to do with it. So back, way back, before I did the DB, well, not before, after I did the DB, like you guys all know the DB, that's my logo. Like that's always my logo. It's been my logo. It's been my signature for the longest time. I think since I was probably 11, probably 11 I came up with that DB, and that's been my logo. And then I wanted to make it kind of modern and do something new. So my middle name starts with a C. So I drew this a while back. Still keep it next to my desk. It's a D and a B and then the C. D, D, C, B. All right. So I was playing with that. And then like. I did another version where I shaded it, so it's kind of a little easier to see. This actually might be the first, the first, this is the first actually. This is the first, and then I traced it so I can get a clean version, right? So yeah, that's cool, right? So then I was like, how can I make this into an M? And we can make this D Blake makes, DBM, right? DBM, D Blake makes, right? So I did, I figured it out. And I made this D, B, and then kind of an M. Still kind of, still kind of work in progress, right? So now I've got to figure a way to put this on some kind of a spinner on my table, like a turntable. I did show you, Sam. Yeah. If, well, this is for some of the new people that might not have seen it. Um, so I want to put it on some kind of a turntable so I can see the D and the B and the M. I want to put it on like an angle like this. So you get so you can see all the angles of it and just let it spin type deal. Even like this works. This actually works better, actually, now that I think about it. Because you can still see the D and the B, but the M is more prominently displayed. And it looks more like an M, I guess, this way. Now, if I could just figure a way for it to stand. I might have to make a custom stand for it. Almost looks like a Viking helmet or um, a Greek, like a Leonidas helmet, right? You know a guy can make me a stand, case. I'm going to make my own stand. I think I'm the guy. Am I the guy? Anyway, so that was cool. So that was a fun thing I made. Um, and uh, what else have I made that's cool? This was my first stand. This is the first stand I put at my table at my first show. All right? My first show, my little stand I made. I made a little wedge on it because it wouldn't stand up on its own. So that's my that was my first sign. And then I made uh, I made a bigger one for my shows, all right? So I made a bigger one for my shows. And now, I think I showed you guys on the last stream that I made a light up one, but I can't light it because I don't have the battery pack downstairs here with me. This lights up, I did it, I did it in clear, and then I put a LED strip in there uh, this is going to light up. So this is my task for the next, uh, before the next show, is to figure a way to mount it onto my set my shelves that I bring with me. And then that's going to be my new sign. So anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a night for now. i got to figure out, holy shit, stuck together. That's not good. I have to figure out how to paint a Voltron. I gotta do the rainbow. I know you guys told me I have to do the rainbow. I have to do the rainbow. So I'm gonna figure this out for next week. All right. I've got a lot more to paint for next week. I've got X Men, Spider Man. Oh, I wanna do a spawn real quick while I'm out. While I have the green paint out because I wanna do a green spawn. So now that I'm looking at what I have left, I'm gonna do two green spawns. So. I might do it off camera. I'm just going to go to bed, actually. Maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah, look, my green syringe is empty. I don't want to fill it back up. 
I'll paint it tomorrow or whatever off camera. Um, oh, and there goes my acetone dripping all over the place. That's why we can't have nice things, guys. All right, we're going to call it a night. I'm going to do an outro with one of my new uh, things. Maybe I'll do an outro with my intro. So, all right, guys, I'll see you guys uh, next Thursday. I'm actually might do a uh, midweek stream because I want to weather the weather, the uh, Walking Dead. Where is it? Uh, oh, it's over right here. There. So I want to weather these, like I did uh, on my other one, on the other one that I have pictures of. I want to weather these. So I'm going to maybe do a midweek stream where I just sit here and I you watch me weather this and we can chat. So maybe maybe next Wednesday, maybe this weekend, maybe Sunday. I don't know. I'm going to look at my schedule, see what's happening as far as time, and um, and I'll, uh, I'll post about it. So stay tuned here. Uh, stay tuned on my, my YouTube. Stay tuned on my Instagram. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me. As always, I truly appreciate you all. If you haven't already, get in my 2,000 follower giveaway on Instagram. One free sign, worldwide shipping. Sign or accessories, right? So if you want an Orin amulet, if you want um, venom tendrils, if you want posable chains, if you want an accessory of any sort that I make and I offer, um, whatever it is, one of those. Worldwide shipping. All you have to do is like my post, be following me, and tag two people. That you think would like my stuff so um get in there and uh you know sign up for my 2000 follower giveaway i'm dr drawing that at the end of the month so you guys have a little over two weeks i want to make sure i get a lot of people i'm giving away a, i'm doing a giveaway for every 10 entries right so if i get 150 entries i'm doing 15 giveaways guys so definitely get in on it all right so cheers guys appreciate you all can't thank you enough and hope you have a great weekend ahead of you. Take it easy.